everybody, welcome to the Hot Toy Show episode number 18. Oh. Well, 18 of the new run. Oh, okay. With well, V and me. With me and me. The, no, the, the and me. Well, me and thee, yes. No, the, the and me. me. Well, that's what I just said. How you doing? With I'm the, good. With the me. I'm good. The hey? me. I, I got it. The me. The and me. The. That's what I said. The. 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 T H E E. The. The. And me. The and me. Amateurs. I'm dealing with amateurs here. <laughs> Wow. How are you, George? I'm doing great after cracking my ass up laughing at my last episode of fucking Star Wars ever. I know I said that before, but I tried to hold on to the Mandalorian and then I saw Lizzo and Jack Black. And well, Gary, <laughs> silly, silly, silly Gary. <laughs> Gary says you have to watch the Mandalorian because this week's episodes are complete. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't have to do shit, man. <laughs> But I watched it, you know. I, I was watching it. Look, I liked the first two episodes. Uh, I talked about it before. I enjoyed it. But then the third, it went to shit. I was like, okay, I'm going to hope it gets better. Fourth, worse. This last episode, I, I don't even know what to categorize, except She-Hulk. It was She-Hulk level. I'm like, what's the point? There's literally some insecure girl who was a former fluffer at Star Wars who's now at Lucasfilm who's running the whole show because you got what? Last Jedi, we got Jake Skywalker, right? Mm -hmm. You had Mary Sue Ray. And then you have the Book of Boba Fett. You get Power Rangers and Fennec Shan, another Mary Sue Ray. Though, of course, you had two of the best Mandalorian episodes inside of Book of Boba Fett. I mean, it's just, and then Obi-Wan Kenobi, the same thing. And now this, I'm like, is this Mando's? Well, for me, it was some of the best. It's like, did we forget it's this dude's show? No, no response. I know you're done with it. I know you are. But a company is its customers. No customers. Kenobi, Kenobi showed me. It showed me the way, George, to I reference. It, it showed, showed me they haven't got a clue what they're doing. It but showed me they have no understanding of Star Wars. It showed me they had no understanding of Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Anakin. It showed me they had no understanding of entertainment. It showed me that they just wanted to push an agenda and their agenda stinks it does. because it's not supported by good content. It's so after, after seeing the abomination <laughs> that was Kenobi, and it was an abomination. It was. I was so, so out, so out. Well, you were smart. I, I, I was, I was sticking with hope. I'm like, you know, that they're, they're gonna, they're not gonna destroy the one property that's doing well for them because I'm like, okay, not Star Wars. I'm like, they, they've destroyed that. I'm I got like, a question. Oh, I got a question for you. Yeah. Who are they sticking it to, George? They're sticking it to the established fans, and they're sticking it to the history of the characters by trying to bring in these woke fans. Where are they? Oh, they're not watching it. Uh, yes, I know nobody's watching it, but they have decided like, well, no one's watching it. We're just, just, I guess, have a good old time and just please ourselves. There's nothing else that makes sense. A good old time. For them, I'm saying. I've it's had of... better shits <laughs> than, that, than anything from that Kenobi show. I agree. Better, I agree. better fecal matter has come out of my sphinctorial region. I was a little bit stunned, though, with Favreau going to this level. I, I had a modicum of, of hope that he wouldn't sink to that. But then I'm like, okay. You just got Lizzo. I know. That, Lizzo. That's what I was saying. He brought Lizzo in. I'm like. Who, who likes Lizzo, George? I, no I mean, I'm not, I'm not being no, facetious. No, I'm not I no, have no idea which, who which, likes her. Uh, I think the people who like Lizzo are lazy uh, people that need affirmation that they don't need to do anything to improve themselves whatsoever. I agree. And so that that 
is the epitome of the writing because the writing displays a complete and utter lack of any structure, storytelling, characterization, or entertainment. I agree. I feel like they just went on set and was like, what, what would y'all like to do today? And that's how it felt to me. Uh, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure that the the meme of uh, Star Wars is being written by an AI is probably not too far from the truth. <laughs> I don't know. I think an AI would at some point do, I think it would do better. It would learn because it would be evolving. <laughs> you know, it would go, yeah, people are, are rejecting this crap. Let me try to, I understand what you're saying. It was just laughably horrible. It was just beyond anything I had seen. I mean. I saw the you. two minute clip. That's all I'm going to need to see. <laughs> I mean, now I can understand why they can put out something like Milf Manor. And... Milf Manor is hilarious because it's end of world TV. Mm. And it's, and it's when I say reality, it's not remotely real. Mm. It's, it's idiots that have been put in front of a camera. Right. Because the people who are putting them in front of the camera know that they're fame hungry idiots. Gotcha. And they will do anything for their fame. So right. it's it's car crash television. That's why it works. So it's, it's transparent. Garbage. So it's, mm? transpa it's transparent, basically. So it's like, you know, you're coming in to watch trash. Yes. This you. is trash. These people are trash. But we say all the nice things to them to get them on the show, and they think they're going to be somebody. And really, they're just going to be the, the, uh, the village idiot to right. point and laugh at for 10 minutes. Throw tomatoes at Yeah, I get you. I get you. But, but this is this is meant to this is taking one of the most beloved IPs on the planet and just dumping, taking dumps all over it to mm. stick it to the fans because they can't. <laughs> I know it's it's it. Well, it's, <laughs> it's the same way. You know what's funny though is today it was like what thirty six hours, forty eight hours after uh, Mando uh, after the last episode came on. And after you have everybody's bitching about Mario Brothers, all the critics, blah, 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 blah. You had, have you heard of that film Jesus Revolution that came out of Mobile? I've heard Alabama? of it. I, d I don't know what it's about, but I've heard of it. Well, it hit $50 million and it's with Chelsea Grammer and it was made with the same budget that nobody was made with Odenkirk, around $15 million, like. Around 50, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it beat, I was looking it up, it beat, it's domestic box office take, right? Beat. The the five five of the Oscar nominated best movies for best picture this year, and four of them combined. But it, it shows you this little company put a small script together, solid story, gave it to people. People enjoyed it, word of mouth, and they're making fun of it. Do you hear about um, Air by Ben Affleck? Yeah, no. Apparently, this is this movie called air starring ben affleck i've heard nothing about this at all mm -mm. and uh it had a 160 million dollar budget is it about it took, it, it took something like 3.2 million on its first day wow well is it about nike like nike air is that or is it something completely different no idea i've got uh, no I idea george i have no idea <laughs> i've just seen a picture of ben affleck in a shell suit. Wow. I did hear of a show which I haven't checked out yet with Kiefer Sutherland. It's supposed to be good. I don't know. It's called Rabbit Hole. Yes, I think I might check that out. I, I used to like his work. I don't know if he's gone woke or not, but he typically... Apparently, seems... apparently it is indeed about Nike. Nike, okay. Yeah, great. Nike. <laughs> $160 million budget. Well, I wouldn't be surprised, especially with what Nike did this week, but uh, that's another story. I I don't... It's nuts. What the budget? Do you know what the budget was for Tetris? I'm asking, I don't know. Do you know what the budget was for Tetris? I have no idea. Let's have a look. It's an Apple... Apple TV uh, Tetris... Uh, Budget. Budget doesn't have a V in it, apparently. <laughs> uh, te Tetris cost 80 million to make. Okay. And I think that's inflated. You know, that's insane. 
I, I was actually expecting it to say Tetris had a budget of $45 million or something like that. Right. But, but, no. that's, but that $80 million is half of the budget for air. Yeah, but we're seeing that over and over. Oh, um, do you know what else might affect that movie right now? You know. I do know. I didn't know if you wanted you know. to touch it. I didn't know if you oh, wanted to touch it. I didn't we know. Can't, if you wanted... We can't see it. We because the know. most because the, the people who claim to be the most vulnerable, the most protected fucking group out there. So we can't say anything because our YouTube overlords would be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is good. I, I don't know if you know who Travis Tritt is. Travis Tritt? I can never pronounce the name. The country music star. He just cut he just cut ties this morning with uh, Anheuser Busch for the same thing. Oh, I saw off. Kid Rock. Yeah, did you he see did the kid, kid Rock Whoa. shooting the uh, the Bud Light. He's like, "Fuck you! Have a nice day." <laughs> Have a nice day, home. <laughs> this grandfather's a little angry. Yeah, no, no. I got, I got a little bit of good news before we carry on. Yeah, yeah. The Hot Toys channel mm -hmm. has now gone past the requisite uh, number of hours viewed oh. and subscribers, which was done long ago. Thank you. Uh, to now be available for monetization. So I applied for monetization yesterday. Can take up to a month to get an answer back. But if that gets if that gets the okay, then you're going to start to see some proper videos. When I say proper right. videos, instead of the replays of the stream, which is on there the Heel versus Babyface channel, which is now here on the Hot Toys channel, you're going to actually start to see some toy videos being made. Sweet. I have a few ideas. So that yeah. I can I can earn some some pennies to keep getting the toys to do the videos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You fingers know, crossed. Like, fingers crossed. I'm sure you're gonna get it. Knock on wood. No, but that's gonna be a good deal. Great deal. It, it's just funny everything that's going on. It's just funny. It, it's I've gotten to a point now where I'm just I just want to inform people about it <laughs> in an entertaining manner because you can't it's like to be angry is to give them what they want. But like I said earlier, right when we started, a company is its customers. The only thing I see them doing now is going, we don't want any customers. Yes. Good luck with that. Not many companies survive without customers. <laughs> no, Particularly not. when it's a company that provides a product which they want customers to watch. Yep. Yep. It's crazy. But I did start watching my last... Uh, Star Trek series that I have never seen the of the old stuff. I don't watch Discovery and any of that. I started watching Voyager because I told you I'd okay. never seen that before. Mm -hmm. I, it's kind of like hit and miss. It's not a. I know Voyager is very hit and miss. It can have some very very good episodes, yeah. and then it can have some. Wow, some 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 newsies. <laughs> yeah, some like ooh. But I like Janeway. I mean, she she seems so far to give a continuously, you know, a solid, straightforward performance. I mean, like, very good. I... Have you seen the video of the original Catherine Janeway? Mm -mm. Okay, so Catherine Janeway was actually cast to a different actress. Oh. And okay. uh, they weren't happy with her. Oh, why? What happened? So, well, they just weren't happy with her performance. So they, they got Jane Mulgrew in. And they said, hey, can you do can you go and do a screen test for this bit? And we actually have the side by side, the same scene, side by side of the original actress oh. versus Kate Mulgrew. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Oh, and, and, and Kate, right, okay. Uh Kate Mulgrew. Uh Janeway. Uh comparison. Let's go with that. Boom, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Right. Okay. So, probably going to get struck for this cuz but it's look. We'll pause it. We'll keep pausing it cuz this is this is tr transformative content. So, here we go. Let's take a Yeah. Yeah. French Canadian. Who's further the Piss up. thing going on? Oh, oh is no right. Screw that guy. This is just some guy and waffling. talking about it yeah piss off mate i want to see i want to see it don't you hate that when you get a video sometimes where it says like the subject is xyz come listen to so-and-so talk and then it has absolutely nothing to do with that person 
and it's the person talking about the person talking about the person. It's like watch their video. Yeah, I want the I want the um let's let's see. That is this just her scene? But I swear I keep calling Tuvok Tupac. I don't know why. It's just Don't was, call him Tupac. <laughs> it just popped in my head. I was listening to I like the character. I you know yeah. who I can't stand? I can't stand that that girl who's like a knockoff nurse chapel, Kess. And, Kess. Yeah, I don't like her. Don't worry, she ain't, she ain't in it for too long. Oh, okay. Whew. She leaves she leaves the series. Um God damn it. If somebody can can uh get that get that comparison of both of them. I can get one, mm -hmm. but I need I need the comparison video which shows the first one and then Okay, might have found it. Might oh, have cool. found it. I might have found it. Let's see. Let's see. Because we actually hit no. No. God damn it, Leroy. <laughs> now, who did you like the most on uh, Voyager? But I don't see Seven of Nine yet. That's the thing. I'm like, I thought she was in it. No, she comes in in like season four. Ah, uh, I told you, I've never watched Voyager. So mm. I thought, wait a minute. So she's not in it from day one. Okay. Because I'm, I'm already through almost the first season. I'm like, well, where's Seven of Nine? No, I think Kess is in two seasons. Mm. Uh, Seven joins, I think, in, in season four. Gotcha. Just because she's so prominent and you hear about her so much, I've always figured she was in it from the jump. The the Doctor was great. I think it'd be, yeah, I think the, the Doctor was my favorite character in Voyage. Yeah, The like EMT him. Doctor. I like it's it. Fun. Isn't it funny how a lot of people's favorite characters tend to be the... the the ones who are devoid of that humanity, like Data. Data, <laughs> Data was a beloved character. The EMT was a beloved character. Or maybe it's just fish out of water characters that we Could like. Be. I think it's sometimes, I think who was it? I think David Mamet once said it. Uh, he's, and uh, Taylor Sheridan, you know, the one who made like uh, Mayor of Kingstown, Yellowstone, all of those. He said he thinks one of the, the secrets to great television storytelling is he goes, is you take an interesting character and just put them in a mysterious situation, or you take a mysterious character and put them in a familiar situation so you can see how they respond to what you already are familiar with. Mm. That, that's what he believes. So I could understand that. But did oh yeah, you didn't hey, you didn't see Picard the last episode, right? That well, the one that's last. just come out today. Yeah. No, I'll get to see it tomorrow. Oh. Oh, so you have another day till it comes to you. Okay. Yeah, well, um, <sighs> Amazon are a little bit cheeky. Yeah. I can watch it today if I want. Oh. However, I will have to subscribe to Paramount through Amazon to do oh, that. Oh, I got you. I got you. Or if I wait till tomorrow, then I will get it as part of my package. Prime. I got you. So, so, yeah, theoretically, I could do it. But um, I'm kind of feeling bad. It's coming to an end, and it's like I don't want to watch the next episodes. I like, almost want to savor them and wait. But yeah, um, I know I'm. A, I'm. A, I like. I think it's. I think it's good. I'm enjoying it. I mean, well, I was saying enjoying, enjoying it. it. I find it watchable. I do think there's plenty of problems. Yeah, but I'm, I do I'm think enjoying. the show's got plenty of problems. That unfortunately are hangovers from the Kurtzman, uh, Goldsman era. I think there's a little too much fighting for me for there's, Star there's, Trek. There's too much fighting. There's uh, there's too much swearing. Yeah, I don't like the swearing um, bugs me. I don't know why they did that. If they're trying there's to not say, enough this talking, is a mature, yeah, I mean, intellectual conversation. There's uh, there's not enough uh, wonder and problem solving and actual science fiction. But uh, it's you know it is it, it's I'm it's the best the we're gonna get. It. Probably I'm ever sure. now. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's a bad time, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I do agree with you there. I don't like the fighting. That's why I was mentioned. But and the cursing that that really threw me off. And the only thing I could think is they wanted to show like we're, you know, a mature Star Trek. I can't think of another it's reason. Not, it's not mature to act like a puerile child. I, I agree with you, but that's the only reason I've ever heard directors 
when they took characters in a story who never cursed and then they made them vulgar. They're like, well, it's a mature version of them. That, that's the reason I've always heard. Did you like uh, Tupac? Tuvok. Tuvok. Tuvok was fine. Fine. I, 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 I'm not going to um, big him up. They didn't do enough with Tuvok. Okay. He had a really good episode with uh, the Tuvix character, with Neelix. That's one of the yeah, most honey. remembered car uh, episodes. But uh, Tuvok, they didn't do enough with him. Did he, you like Neelix? No, I hated him. Yeah, okay, so I'm not alone there. I don't know what it is about him. It just... Neelix, the most annoying character. <laughs> one of them. At that time, the most annoying character in Star Trek. You know who he reminds then me of? Then New Trek came along. He reminds me of, except I think it was done 10 times better, and I just forgot his name, the Doctor on Enterprise. I really liked his... No, his, Dr. Flox was good. I, that's what I said. I think he's phenomenal. He's how Neelix should have been. You know what I'm saying? It's like yes. Neelix is almost a caricature of... I'm the... I don't know. But Flox dipper. came across as intelligent yes. and empathetic. And magnetic. And, 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 and yeah, he had charisma. Charisma. Uh, but not in a an extrovert kind of a way. He had a very quiet confidence. Yeah. Uh, there's some very interesting... You know, they... Their species was polyamorous before. Oh, God, I know. When he would have those conversations, he really described it culturally. He would do that little smile when people would look at him. He's like, you humans, you know, yeah. you're monogamous. Like, I will never understand it. But he didn't do it from a judgmental point. It's just like someone who couldn't understand the way we couldn't understand what he it was. Just so but that's why he wanted the position on Enterprise. He wanted right. to be, he wanted not only to be the physician, but he wanted to be able to study humans because this was a completely different species for him uh with a different culture and and um yeah he flox was great i loved flox. love him see that's when i first saw neelix in the show i'm like is this gonna be like we're gonna get another gem of flox and within a few seconds i was like no nope. no neelix was too loud and brash it's like he was a mascot like they said we need a mascot yeah, like a, yeah, it uh, felt you know, like yeah, it felt like an out of control puppy, like a junior varsity basketball team mascot. Hey, you go over there. But one you wanted to put in a sack and drown, as opposed to race. <laughs> because all he keeps doing is, is, how can I do more? How can I do more and try my whatever? For, anyway, Flox didn't grow on me. He just he was immediately. I had him immediately loved him. I remember his I thought, wife. I thought this is a really good character, and. Uh, yeah, he he was. I wish they'd done a little bit more with him. Mm -hmm. But every time he was on, he was he was great. He was, really was that great. Smile that he, the way he could do that. I was like, wow, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. And his wife, when she yeah. wanted, to, I was like, <laughs> he was, yeah, she did wanted. Tucker, did she want trip? Did she want trip? trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was like, and he's just like, oh, go ahead. It's like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> You Whoa. will enjoy her. She will yeah. make me cry. <laughs> yeah. like, what the hell? <laughs> and then when he turns her down, kind of like in a nice way, by the end of the episode, it's like, oh, you would have enjoyed her, like, and you, like yeah. rose petal bath and the way she does this. And he's like, still looking at him like, it's your wife. <laughs> he's like, that's the, that is the culture <laughs> of the planet. And, and yeah, because how many wives did he have? Three or four wives or something? I, I thought it was five. Five. Was, I think I'm not three or five because he was explaining how what was it? It was women had it was reversed. It was like women had husbands. It wasn't husband, you know what it was a there was something about it's like each woman had two husbands. Something like that. Hmm. He had four, yeah, four. It four? Was, was, okay. But no. three. So I was right. Okay. I was, I was right with three or four then. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I thought it was closer to five. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, these these were the days, my friend, yeah. when Star Trek was actually good and delved in science fiction. And even though the first couple of seasons of, of Enterprise was a bit ropey, I thought the characters... I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Hit that mute, though. I thought yeah. the characters were good. Mm -hmm. I just didn't think they, ha they had a... Eh, sort of, sort of uh, story to go with. But um, seasons three and four really picked up the pace, apart from the I season like four, four finale. And if you haven't watched it, never watch it. 
never watch the season four finale. Because it's like, what's it do? It's like uh, three years later or five years later. Right. Just goes from one episode to five years later. Final episode. I really think they hit their stride in season four, but I don't know. It's like it needed another couple of seasons and then it got axed. I'm like, why? Now you're doing good. Yeah, they just they just started to get it right, get the formula right. The characters are all there. Mm. I thought they had a really solid cast of characters there. I was really annoyed that they didn't do more with uh, Mayweather, is it? Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the... Uh, the, the pilot, the uh, helmsman. Mm-hmm. Um, the one whose family so, used to run the freighter. Run cargo. Yeah. Was it, was it, was it, it wasn't Mayweather. What, who was it? What was it? You're talking about the black guy, the helmsman. Yeah. Uh, and, is, yeah. It, is it May, Was it Mayweather? I don't Anderson know. His, Mayweather. I told you, I'm bad with the names, but I remember all the... But they did a, they did a couple of things with him. Yeah. And then, they, then he just became the helmsman, and it's sort of like... You know, there was there was some interesting stuff with the cargo and his in his uh Travis his Mayweather. family. Travis May Mayweather, that was it. Mm-hmm. Travis May, yeah. Um so yeah, that was a that was a wee bit frustrating. Um because I thought they had a really solid cast there. And they should have, they should have, and they didn't. They should have really have uh ex- extended the, the friendship between uh uh, the the security guy. Oh my god, my brain's fucking fried now. Yeah. Uh, the security guy and Trip. The girl. The, the no no the, the, the no Dominic. Uh, what's he called in real life? Dominic. Oh, you talking about the former like SAS Reed? Guy. Yeah, Reed. Reed and Reed and Trip. They they because the episode where where player, uh, Reed and Trip are uh, uh, are stuck on the shuttle together and freezing. Oh God! When that, they were that dying, was great. One, one, Malcolm it, Reed, yeah, yeah. Reed is sitting here. He's making, you know, leaving his notes behind and recording. The other guy's like, "What are you doing? We gotta." It's like you're gonna leave something behind. It's like, no, we're gonna get out. Oh, arguing. Yeah, that great episodes. Like, and that's what I mean. How many shows in the last three years can you recall fondly of modern television like that? In a really, really fond way, uh, like where you you you're almost enjoying it like a meal. Where you're sharing it with a friend. Where you're going, ah, look at this character here. Just the way we're doing now. I mean, I cannot recall oh, except for a hand- Squid Game, Squid Game, uh, okay. Alice in Borderland. But do you remember specific scenes with characters or the overall? Oh, hell yeah. about- oh okay. Oh yeah, okay, I, well, can, I can. I can. I mean, Squid Game very specifically. Alice in Borderland quite a lot. You really like that one much more than Squid Game, huh? No, I, I liked. I liked. I Sorry. actually just w- watched the first episode of Squid Game again the other day. Okay. Because uh, it, uh, I've watched, I've, I've watched Squid Game six times. The whole thing six times. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then I, I, I hadn't watched it for about a, you know, about a year or so since since Rob and I had, had stopped doing the reviews. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, yeah, I watched um, watched the first episode. A few about four or five days ago, maybe. Uh, maybe yeah. probably probably longer because time has no meaning anymore. <laughs> and uh, it yeah, it's really good. But I really, I, I think, uh, I think I'm going to give Alice in Borderland season one and two a back to back watch very soon again. I, I still so have that, to that was done really well. I haven't gone and, through season two yet of Alice in Borderland. Oh, it's the finale. God, the finale is so clever. I, I want to. I just haven't had the chance. I it's a perfect finale oh, because it wow. it is it's the perfect finale because if they if they don't do a season three it works it works and if they do a season three there's something in the finale that works okay well what's the finale i, I can't say i can't tell you why not I, I mean, I could, but it, it would ruin the the. It's little that support. good. Okay, okay. I think it's. I think it's a. It's a. Okay. It's not a turn around the corner and Statue of Liberty moment, oh. or anything like that. Oh, but there is. That's what there I was is expecting. a. Well, but it's it's a. When it happens, you're like, oh. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna watch it this weekend after I get done with my video. Okay, that's good. When it I does like that, it. you that made me just kind of go, oh. Ho, 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 ho. 
That's good. Okay. Now I got to watch. It's a very cheeky, clever ending. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm watching season two this weekend. But we're talking about Star Trek. Remember, I told you I had ordered Migos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got the first. Nice. I got the first. I'm going to pull them out. Have a look. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull them out. So, you can eat what she said. <laughs> Yeah, I said, sure. the only problem no problem. Is no said, problem. I ordered, I ordered the set, and they sent me the spot correctly, and then they sent uh, me the small ones incorrectly, which I have them here. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you, see if I should keep them or not. Come on, you have to hold on one second. Sorry, do you want to take it off the big screen? This this has a tack on it. Anyway, so they sent me all of the characters, but they only sent the correct, the 12 inch for Spock. And it's been a while since I've ordered Migo, so I kind of went a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Because the last time I ordered Migo, Jesus, I was a kid. But these were amazing. There you go. Just rip your ass out of there. Oh, I had oh. a dream last night. I'll tell you my dream in a minute. Tell me. I remember a part of my dream. Okay, you you fluff up your spark. Yeah. There and then I'll go. tell you tell you my weird my weird ass dream. It kind of looks like a fuck. That's weird. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. But it looks like he's got That's like... That's great. I like that. We're popping a smirk on his face. Yeah. Again, it's not obviously Hot Toys level, but it's Mego. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a Mego. It's a Mego. There's something about Mego. I don't know. It just, it's a style. It's a style. That's what it is. I like him. I like him. I like the cut. The outfit's lovely. I think the outfit's Yeah, it is. Much better than when I was growing up. But when people ask, like, well, why do you collect Mego? You, you have Hot Toys and these customs. And it's just something about it that reminds me of my childhood. I just love them. No, that, I mean, that looks like a toy. Right. It's not right. a collectible. No, it, would, it, lo it looks like you, you would give that to uh, to a kiddo, and the kiddo, the kiddo would play with that as a Star Trek toy. Now, these, I was debating whether I should keep them or not. I was going to show you. If you think I should keep them, then I'll rip them out of the box. But I ordered the whole series, right? Uh, not the whole series. Six of them. So then they sent me sure. these by mistake. The fucking small ones. Oh, oh, are these the fake ones or the real ones? No, no, these are the real ones. Okay, because there's but that guy who does all the fake ones. <laughs> no, no, but these are tiny. I didn't even know Migo did that. That's a good calm, though. <laughs> I know, but I was, I was like, I'm going to ask guys whether I should return these. And you can wait till I get my other stuff. I think these are look, great. They're like, these are... Return. Okay. Yeah, they, I think like, these are great, dude. Because they said, look, since we made a mistake, like obviously you can return these. We pay for the shipping. And then we'll send you what you want. Or you can keep them in. Okay. And then one more. I thought you said you had six. Yes. The other two arrive later. But here. Wait. So three plus two equals six? No, two more today and one more tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And because of the fact that I got uh, XO6's spot. That's I won. great. I wanted yeah, the 12 yeah. inch. Yeah. Well, I got the XO, you know, we got yeah, a display downstairs. Yeah. So what I think these are great. I think these are lovely. Yeah. Oh, okay. what is the chat thing? Keep them or wait for the big one? That's what she said. Yeah. Did you see XO6 is uh, what's what they're working on next? War Saru. from First Con? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I thought you were going to because Saru was up for pre order, wasn't he? Oh, I didn't see that. Did I miss that? Are you going to get Saru? I might not remember. From Discovery? Oh, no. No, that. No, no. Okay. Oh. Wrong person. The, no. yeah, yeah. Well, no, since no. you've done some Star Trek, mm -hmm. I've actually got a Star Trek to show. Okay. I've got a Star Trek. Only God knows. Hey, come on, dude. I'm not God. Yet. <laughs> but I will. 
Uh, I'll just show you the box first. Actually, George, let's not let's not go to a one shot. Let's keep this a two shot. No, no, go to a one shot so everybody can see you. And no, no, no. I want to go to a one shot so everyone can see you. Oh, we'll just hold Two. on a second. No. <laughs> so this this came in the post yesterday. Here we go. It's my XO6 Chicote. Chicote. Very it's nice. my my XO6 Chicote. Very nice. Let's just slide off the sleeve. That's what she, she said. <laughs> Let me, should I open up the Shukote? Shukote, Shukote? Why not? I want to see how they did his tattoo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Because they haven't done that. So I don't think they've done that tattoo on any character. And I want to see how well that's very difficult to do on a 1 6 properly. How in the hell did you get it so quickly? Because you, you must be banging somebody over there. You know they're all 38 guys. seconds, baby. Best 38 seconds you'll ever have. And, well, and sorry. You, I mean, best 38 seconds, Alan. But you understand they're all guys over at XO. There's Asian women over there. You don't think, you know, I think, <laughs> I think all the guy, guys are doing the work. Come on, man. No, but it's funny because people were complaining to him online that uh, he posted a picture of uh, Worf from First Contact, you know, in yeah. the suit, in the uh, space suit. People were like, no, we don't want that next. <laughs> Some people were like, yes, we want it. And he's like, well, here at XO6, I decide what comes out. <laughs> well, good. So it know. looks really good. It looks really good. I didn't think anyone was ever going to do that, but I, I really respect the guy. He's going to make everything in Star Trek. But well, he's going to make what he can for as long as he can until he can't. Yeah, I'm never going to buy, obviously, the Discovery. And I did finally watch, just so I could see what the hell it was about, I did watch an episode of Strange Worlds, which Ooh. was exactly Trash. what you said. Yeah. Just, it was a bodysuit. Yeah. It was a Star Trek. It was a. It was a corpse wearing a Star Trek skin, pretending. Very difficult to was, watch. Oh, it's shite. And the fucking I, granddaughter of fucking car. Oh, fuck off. I was like, did they just say her name was Nuni and Singh? I'm like, come on. Yeah. I did like. I will say, I did like because I saw the first episode. Yeah. I did like some of the shots, some of the cinematography. I did like that, but that was it. He's we're like going through the snow with his horse, and then you see the shuttle come down, and I was like... Yeah, yeah, the bits that were on Earth. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> the bits that were on Earth where his, uh, his boss woman tells him what it's all about, you know. Holy How shit. in the hell? Who came up with the Space idea girl. to use Khan's granddaughter? Uh, a fucking... That too. Yeah. Makes no sense. But there again, you're dealing with people that have no idea about Star Trek. Look at Jacote. Oh. Damn. Well, how does the tattoo look to you in person? Oh, I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. Look at that costume, man. Is he Vulcan? No. Well, his ear looks Vulcan on one side. It doesn't. A little. It's, ju it's just the cut of the hair. I'm messing with you. It no, doesn't. It good. doesn't. It, it might be the light reflecting off it, but it's like very good. Very good. Wow! Go. That's a, that's look at that tattoo. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Well, that face sculpt was incredible. That is, that is really good. And that I just is, that is excellent. That. Beautiful cos. The it's tailoring good. on the costume is fantastic. Which do you like more, the TNG one or or the Voyager one? Because I'm TNG. starting to like it. Yeah, I know I love TNG, but I like his outfit, his his uh, fleet uniform. I think, I think the the right okay. The thing with the TNG uniforms are, I think they look great on everyone. Mm. Right, the boiler suit ones that they brought in, they look good on some people. Right, where the cut's really good. But some they look terrible on. Like, terrible. And in DS9, one of the things that kind of put me off DS9 at the beginning 
was the was the terrible new outfits. Absolutely hated them. Terrible yes, new sure. outfits. Uh, they just like with Miles O'Brien, it seemed really ill fitting. Yeah, really ill fitting. Uh, but then you'd have somebody like Doctor Bashir, and it it fit well. I think it looks great. It fits brilliantly on on uh, Chicago. Chicote. Oh yeah, that's a really really good fit, and it looked really good on Janeway. Janeway had a really good fit on it. Um, but uh, like a Balana, she used to wear that stupid fucking coat half the time. I really oh. like the I really like the uh, the fleet uh, uniforms from Khan from Wrath of Khan with Shatner and. Yeah, I like that one. Well, they're coming. I know that. I'm waiting. They're coming. So Which that is, is your, your favorite uniform of all the Star Trek shows? Is TNG or I would say uh, TNG season three onwards. Okay. With the with the collar. The collar. Because the the, the TNG epi- the costumes are different in the first two seasons, folks. No collar. Round neck. Co- uh, round neck. No collar. Pips there. And then you have the line going across, and it was made out of lycra. Then they changed the costumes because the crew were complaining about um, it having Shaping. an effect on the back and stuff. Oh, because the lycra is sort of like making them, you know, sort of bend in one position. Mm. So then they made them two piece outfits and they put a collar up, and the pips went on the collar then. Uh, and they are they to me are the uh, the best. Oh, because it was weird in Strange World. Their outfits were weird. The the uniforms again, corpse wearing the skin of Star Trek. Right. So there's my Chakotay. My seven of nine is still here, just there. So I'm going to oh. keep Chakotay here. Where is I seven of nine? Can you show that? Show seven of nine again if you want to show seven of nine again. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm now watching Voyager, so I wanted to. There's the seven. See, her outfit is perfect. Oh, it's absolutely. I mean, her. I I would. uh, (laughs) Ah. Um. The no. The the outfit. Jerry. I mean, one of the things that they said at the time is Jerry Ryan had an insane body. Her body was just insane, and so you put her in these jumpsuits, and she just looks like a a goddess, literally like a fucking goddess. And uh, yeah, this this is such a good, this is such a good figure of seven. Mm, okay. uh, it, when she first comes in, she gets into the. I think the uh, is it the first one is the silver one. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. Then then they put her in the purple. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, her costumes were meant to be form fitting because George, you're going to be surprised about this, but they actually wanted to accentuate her physique. Yeah, you mean they wanted to sexualize her because she's yes, a beautiful they wanted, woman. They wanted her to be like this this cold character, Checking. but was incredibly attractive. My so that you had the, you had this the balance of of the cold emotional side with the physical attractiveness. Very nice, beautiful, very nice. Oh, I would eat sushi off this all day. Um, well, I wouldn't because carbs. But uh, yeah, the seven, the seven is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, seven of nine there. Ooh, you've got to stop hammering that, that pop there, George. <laughs> First, I know. It's my, it's my last vice. That and cigarettes. I'm going to well, get rid of one. My so it's not your last vice then. So you just lied. No, I said that and my cigarettes. My last vice. You said it's my last vice. And, and then cigarettes. I said and my c- and yes. cigarette. Yeah, I so, corrected it. So I have two mm, vices left. Mm. I am planning on quitting for my birthday this year, July eighth. Okay. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I've tried quitting before. I get a headache, but this time I'm gonna go through. You've been a great role model, ass. Well, I mean, when was the last update I did? I did like an update a couple of days ago. Yeah, I saw it. I think. Uh, where? To Paul. Oh, yeah. To Paul has an insane body. She had a great. She had a great. Physique. She still has an insane body. I haven't seen uh, Jolene Bl- Blalock for a while. 
Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. So the last update I did was uh, three days ago. 128 days now without energy drinks. 116 no. without soda pop. 105 without alcohol. 53 without a takeaway. No takeaway. No, and I'm pretty much ketoing, doing the keto diet, apart from mm. uh, I'll eat vegetables. Yeah, really, but, you but, shouldn't. Hmm? You shouldn't. Really. I have to eat. I have to eat my vegetables. I have oh. to have my vegetables. Why? Because vegetables are great. They're great, and they've got lots of vitamins and good stuff in them. So mm -hmm. it's I. I am. I am. I am. Like no bread, no. Now here's the thing: Will you ever though have, like, will it be a couple of years later? And you go, I'd, I'm, I've done this long enough. I'd like to have a soda. I've never had um, energy drinks. I tried. No, no. I have a half a. I had a half a glass of, uh, a half a can of uh, Red Bull once. I've never been into energy drinks. I tried. I'm like, I didn't like it. But soda, yeah. I, I look. I think with energy drinks, no. Because I've shown that, you know, I don't, I used to think I needed energy drinks to keep me going, mm. to keep me, you know, I'm, I'm going to be streaming, I'm going to be streaming for a long time. Uh, I need energy drinks to keep me, woo, woo, let's go, let's go. No. no. But soda, I, I'm not talking about energy, I'm talking about soda. Would you ever but have so, energy? But No, because I mean, soda is a slippery slope for me because I, I, I've quit for over 100 days before without pop. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, then, I'm saying, like then, it's three years down the road, and you have a friend who shows up from out of town, and you go out to eat, and you go, oh, I can well, have a my soda. Brother's, my brother's coming up next week. It's coming up yeah, on but Tuesday. it's still close. You've just started. I'm saying, like, if it's years later, like, you've done look, this. I, look, look, I, I don't intend on being teetotal for the rest of my life. Oh, that's what I was asking. Okay. You know, I don't I don't uh, plan on that. And if I drink, then maybe I'll have some, maybe have a vodka Coke, you know, a uh, rum and Coke. Yeah, gotcha. too. That's you know, may, maybe, but uh, right now I'm okay without that. You well, know, that's good. That's why I'm saying not now. No, I'm talking about years later. But that's good. You keep it up. Uh, that's I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm, I love I'm, looking at your update. That's well, it's like this is this is the look. I've just started my journey. Okay, it's a it's a long journey. It's going to take a couple of years. Yep. And that's a couple of years of being good. You know, no mm -hmm. slips, no no, slips, no mistakes. Right. So, um. Just the just the the you know hundred plus days without the alcohol pop and energy drink, that's been good. But now it's fifty three days without fifty three days on a, on a a good diet, yep. and that's that's the thing I think which is which has kick started the most. I shouldn't say this because it's vain, and I apologize. But I just I uh, the Amazon guy came today, and I'm still in bed. So they they dropped off my my um, items, which I'm going to show today, uh, with my neighbor. And I went to pick up um, my items with my neighbor, and he had had COVID, and apparently had been in a little bit of not a bad, you know, he's he's in his sixties, wasn't in a bad way, but you know, it kind of hit them a little bit. So I just said, "How are you doing? Are you doing okay now?" And he's just like, "Yeah, yeah, doing good." And then he goes, "See, you've lost a pound or two. Yeah, unprompted or anything like that. Very nice. That, so so don't worry, I'm still the size of a fucking house. You didn't slip him a pound, but um, a pants, a note. No, I slipped him a twenty afterwards. I was like, "Cheers, man." Put it, put it on the inside of my hand. No, I, it. I, I've been on. What is it now? How long have we been doing this? This is our eighteenth episode. No, was it four months? Well, eighteen weeks. I know, but we missed a couple. Didn't well, you no no. There's been 18 episodes. You've missed a couple. I think you've only missed one, George. Yeah, I know. Anyway, well, I started. So, so many, epi it's 150 episode... days for me. 150 days that I've been on Carnival, mm -hmm. and I've lost because I've been doing it a, a lightweight carnivore, like not going. Meaning there, there's different modes to it. So I've I've lost about. Ooh. I've lost a good amount of weight. I have more to go, but I feel good. I feel well, I've got two years to go. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a, yeah. That, but the hardest part that I have, I tell you that I haven't figured out. Um, the hardest part that I have is birthdays. And like last night we had Pesach, Passover. So the whole family was here, right? Mm -hmm. 
and you have all these multiple dishes and it's like you're sitting here and carnivore is only protein based it's only protein there there are no vegetables you can have some people can but i've tried it basically after you've done it for 90 days they say you can try this these list of vegetables if you notice that you start gaining or you stop losing then your body doesn't work with it so mm. I've been doing, uh, so yeah, I ate the brisket I ate all that. But when you see all that with a family, you get in the social environment, that, 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 that was tough. I know that sounds like that's tough. It's not tough like in any other thing in life, but it's, it's psychologically, it's difficult. But I pushed it through. Well, I ate about two hours ago, mm-hmm. and that was off a, I did a 24-hour fast. So I ate yesterday at around 4 p.m. How'd you feel on the fast? I love that. Then I did a 24-hour fast, and I ate uh, about 4 p.m., just after 4 p.m. today. And that was... I mean, when I was going to bed, I mean, I was up late because I was streaming Resident Evil till 4.30 in the morning or whatever. Yeah, I saw. Um, But uh, I was getting hungry then. You can't eat then. No. No. So See, so uh, it was it was good to get that sleep in, and then I woke up. I was like, okay, I still got to wait a few hours before I can eat. I did have that difficulty when I first started streaming on YouTube. Which what it's only been a year and a half since I started, but when I first started, and I you know stream with different people, uh, my schedule changed because I'm also going to work during the day, and I noticed that I wouldn't eat during the day, and I would start eating my dinner at midnight and actually I, and this is this is a lot harder than you think uh, so you're coming from a very ignorant place mm-hmm. the science is eat less calories than you burn yeah you know that way you get a deficit and you lose but putting into practice is completely different kettle of fish yeah and i drink a lot of water i don't keep, know i drink uh, a lot of water <laughs> keep the passive aggressiveness going sometimes it'll, it'll work out well for you so I'm proud of what you do. When I look at that, um, I think it's inspiring. But I've been sticking with it now. So I've been sticking with it over 120 days. I've had it where I, on two birthdays, because we're Greek. I know this can sound like an excuse. Probably is. There's a great None. culture. There's a no, culture. It's, it's Greek. We, have a, we have a thing where it's like when it's somebody's birthday, you have to take a bite of cake to for their part of their good luck. Just a bite. And so I was like, I can't, I'm on this diet. They're like, you're not going to wish your sister or your aunt or your this. I'm like, fuck with the guilt. So Greek Jews, it's like, I'm like, look, I'm on the fucking carnivore. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you try that. Anyway, so eventually I took a bite. I'm like, ah, of course. I'm like, I got to go now because the bite's going to lead to another bite. It's going to lead to another bite. So I'm finding those areas difficult. But now that everybody knows, actually three other people in my family started. So they're feeling better. But I will tell you what I really like is, is the fast because when you said you were fasting, I wanted to ask you, how did you feel? Like I like after I get over that hunger, when you're doing a 24 hour or 32 hour fast, I get a lot of energy. Well, um, I mean, I feel I feel ready to go. Like after this stream, I'm gonna give it an hour or so, and then I'm gonna be doing finishing off Resident Evil Four. Mm. So I'm 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 gonna be ready to go again, and. Uh, what, what the great thing I well I say the great thing is I ate a good meal you know mm. I had I, today was my bacon sausage and egg meal right? oh like last I had the perfect so I, so I had my bacon egg and sausage and I I actually kind of felt after I ate it I was like maybe 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 take out one of those sausages or maybe take out one of those uh, rushes of bacon mm. next time because. Uh, I'm kind of feeling, you know, felt full. I felt real full. But that's, you know, that's your stomach yeah. drinking as well, as which is part of the whole fast experience. Um, well, good. Yeah. Well, talking about someone that I put this together, talking about putting bodies and getting them in shape. Remember a few weeks ago when I showed you the body of uh, Decker? Yes. From Blade Runner? Well, the head oh, yeah, came yeah, from in. Blade Runner. Oof, I thought you were going to go Star Trek, the motion picture, and then it's going to be controversial. Okay. Well, the head came in from Buffy. That's oh, the okay. Of, that's the name of the artist. He yeah. is one of the best. Not the vampire. 
No. He's one of the best artists in the world. And you'll tell once you see the head. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I thought he's a great. That is fantastic. Wow. Isn't he amazing? Yeah, that is that is an actual wow. So you can see Jeez. if I get closer, he actually even has the scar on the chin. Yeah, I saw the scar on the chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I'm waiting right now for a uh, Raiders. Harrison. That so is I, I, incredible. That really is incredible. So I'll pull back a little so you can see the whole thing. Yeah. That is a damn son. Yeah. I thought it was really good. Buffy is incredible. Sensation. That is sensational. Absolutely sensational. And you saw the new piece. I replaced uh, Catwoman behind me with what came in the other day. I can't see. I can't see because you're in the way. I can't even see what that is. Damn it. No, I can't. I can't it's make from, it. It's, it's from Lord of the Rings. Remember? I can't. I, oh, it's the door. Dance. It's the door open. It's the door to Moria. Too little. Maybe too little. I am. I. I am pretty blind as well. No, I'm thinking it's, it's too it little. It is small. It is small. But well, I thought it'd be nice. Maybe it shouldn't go there. Too little. Do you know what, like, I what the hell is that? <laughs> what in the hell is that? This, I took a little picture today. I was doing some dusting today. Yeah. I am I am getting really industrious now. And uh I thought I'd just take a photo of my uh oh. my little Gotham statues going on. Very nice. I'm on the wait list for the poison ivy, which is a pre-order anyway, but I'm on the wait list for that. But uh yeah, they don't let you transfer them. Huh? Cause I have one. I'm saying too bad they don't let you transfer them. I've asked them if, like, you could transfer, like, for somebody who's on the waiting list, instead of me canceling, I can go. I want to send this to As. Oh, well, you like... can. You can have. You can change the address of where your pre-order gets sent to. Well, I could do that. Well, tell me if yours uh, doesn't go through. Well, I mean, yeah. you I haven't probably. ordered one, so you would be behind me in the wait list. I'll explain it later. I, I had oh. ordered I had ordered a, a poison ivy, but then I realized oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I realized oh, which I one gonna... though? Which one? The one in four or did the hush one? No, the hush one. Is uh, that no, no, no. This is no, this is the one in four. Ah. Uh -huh. This is I'll show you the I'll show you the uh the hush the one. one in four. No, no, no. I know the hush one. Uh, the hush is a one in three. Yeah, because I'm trying those, to stick to one in three. Oh, those aren't one in three. Those, those are, are one in fours. Gotcha. Now we're on the same page. And uh, here we go. This. This is what I'm on the uh, wait list for, and I really want to snag it. I'm so annoyed with myself for really? um, for not grabbing it immediately. Oh. I didn't yeah, this is it. the one in four mm. poison I ivy. Not, I did not see this. This is from Sideshow, right? This yeah. This is from Brian Moore. Yeah, okay. But it's a Sideshow exclusive, yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. These, these are the sideshow. Those are the sideshow in there. Can you? Oh, those were all. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe it had been a one quarter line that I did. Okay. Can you click on a picture of her face closer? Um, I hate there. this new sideshow system. I know it's. You know, blow it up. Can't shit you did. Absolutely shitty. Interesting. But that's a great, great poison ivy. I am so been annoyed. I didn't pull the trigger immediately. So when I was like, okay, no, no, let's get it. Good grief, what am I talking about? Let's get it. That needs to go into my Gotham. And then when it was like, nope. wait, list open. I was like, no! <laughs> I don't think the, the Zatanna one is out yet. Let me just, because uh, I was umming on that one as well. I was umming on that one. Is it out? Oh, it's out. Is it out? Oh, it's out now. Ooh, okay. Now then, here we go. Zatanna. Oh, 
I might have to pull the trigger on this. Look at that. Fucking hell. I would smash the shit out. Okay. Um, that's really good. That is really, really good. So there you go. This is out. I think I'm going to have to pull the trigger on this. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. 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 So should I okay. give you a second? No, no. Well, 38. But <sighs> I get a daily email from Sideshow. I'm okay with that, you know, because it's nice to see if they've got anything on offer and whatnot. A couple of days ago, I get an email. And I scrolled down it, and it said the, the one in four Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4 statue. 20% mm -hmm. off. Oh. Down to 500 and something pounds from... That is one in four, yes. The, the Zatanna is one in four. And uh, so I put it into my basket. Right. And, and then I thought, fuck it, let's get the Ada one. But the 81 was still full price. Okay. So it's just like, even with discount, because I had like 150 quid's worth of built up credit, even the discount with shipping, and then I would have import fees on top, remember, probably going to come out about 1,600 pounds for both of them. Oh. That's sort of like, uh, so I umdenard. And then I said to myself today, just get Leon. Just get Leon with a 20% discount. Take off your 150 pounds. You'll still, you know, yes, it'll cost probably 650 delivered, mm -hmm. but it'd be Leon Kennedy, one in four, beautiful. Uh, the deal was a daily deal. So the 20% discount was gone. Oh. So it was back up to full whack. And I'm just like, yeah, not now. I don't want to pay full whack for that. Lately, I haven't had that. any luck. Lately, I haven't had any luck with any of their codes. You know, when you get something and they say you yeah, have Yeah, I keep getting, I keep, yeah. I keep getting turned down. They're like, no, this doesn't apply to this. No, this doesn't apply to this. So this is a kind of called them. Did you see? And then the it was name? a weird one because it, then it kept saying, then it, well, it didn't kept, but it said in, in the, in the checkout, uh, the Leon cannot ship to the UK. And then if you went through the checkout, it's like, yeah, yeah. So I was sort of like, what is going on? Very weird. No, the Leon, it's the Leon from Resident Evil 4, the OG Resident Evil 4, but it's a statue of Leon from OG Resident 4, and there's also a, an Ada Wong from the OG Resident Evil 4, so she's in the dress. There's no, uh, there's no uh, Ashley with that. But uh, holy shit, dude, if I add the Zatanna to my art, mm -hmm. Well, you're Low side show. Then if I go to check out, I've only got one code left because they just vanish. If I add the only code that I have on in my wallet for twenty five dollars, right? Let's see if it will apply. Okay, it applied. It applied oh, the twenty five dollar wow. discount. Wow, I know. Lucky. Then I've got a hundred and forty three pound forty seven in rewards to be used. So that will take it with shipping, with shipping, four hundred pounds. So let's add eighty oh, pounds import fee, approximately eighty to one hundred. Let's just say one hundred. Well, That'll be five hundred pound delivered. I think I'm going to have to pull the trigger right now, oh, really? live on live on stream. Do you not have any distributors there where you don't have to go through all the well, customs? And yeah, but they they add on from the customs fees, and then they add on a fee from the customs fees. So it's so if still. I, if I bought this in the UK, mm -hmm. this will likely be up for about 550, 650 pounds. So it's literally less cheaper expensive. for me to buy it from the US and, and get it imported. Ship it. I thought maybe that, that you would save the shipping cost because those the distributors, you know, in the U in the country would get it at wholesale so they wouldn't carry that up. Wouldn't but Yeah, but they it. like to add. Gotcha, gotcha. They like to add shit. Okay, I might have just pulled the trigger on that Zatanna. Well, what does that mean I might have? That means did. I have. Ah, cuz that's kind of like the whole binary non-binary, you know. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you, uh, slave name. <laughs> Why you call me that? Why you call me by my slave name? Uh, your order has been confirmed. So I just I just picked me up a Zatanna statue live on stream. That's fair. Then I might good. then I might pull something later. Uh, that's good. great. Now that is a decision I'm very happy with because I really like the look of that Zatanna. What are you gonna pull later? You said you're gonna pull something later. Hmm. That's a very weird. I know. Thing. I know. This is your lifestyle, George. <laughs> you... But uh, forgive me. Forgive me break. for not wanting to share that. You know. Oh, by the way, yeah, yeah. Big ups to the people who like it on the T-shirt. Transformers the movie T-shirt. Very nice. Did you see the new uh, Hot Toys releases? Uh, from when? Today. Oh, today. Not today. Let's have a I'll look. Show, I'll show you. There you go. Oh, I can bring. It. Oh, you got it. You got it already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. They're doing oh, wow. a new, are they doing a Return of the Jedi? Yeah. How many Darth Vader's can you find? <laughs> well, they added the thing with the electricity, the LED. I want to see 3PO with the uh, Salacious Crumb. Well, they have that. It was just released. Uh, well, for pre-order. There you go. Yeah. I missed the damn C3PO because I thought no one's going to order it. I missed the one with... Uh, the diecast one. No, no, not the... Is it the diecast oh, one? Oh, with the, with the, from the Attack of the Clones. That's the one I wanted, and I'm on the bloody wait list. Nah, I passed on that. No, oh, I wanted that one. I fucking hated that Attack of the Clones. like fucking dog shit. <laughs> is this diecast or plastic? I don't know. I didn't read, but you, what pisses me off is that you see here, yeah, all of that. That those aren't real wires. And I showed you before how uh, that one company made a C three PO, yeah. and the wires were real. It was fully diecast. Everything. And I just don't know. Hot Toys is going to have to really up their game because pushing stuff like this out, where it's just painted. I don't think it's going to keep working for them. Also, they put out a list. They updated all the head sculpts, which I don't give a shit about. But they it was on their Facebook page last night where they updated the head sculpts for uh, Jane. Jane Thor, whatever the hell her name is. Like, we updated the head sculpt for this, and then we updated the head sculpt for Spidey. For Tom Holland's Spidey. Okay. And then they we updated the head sculpt for uh, Wakanda Forever's... Uh, Black Panther. Edward Bersman's. The head sculpts were brilliant, by the way. But, again, they need to... I got, I got, I got, dude, they've killed my interest. Marvel have killed my interest in buying Marvel Hot Toys. I'm not buying them, but I'm saying, like, Hot Toys, in order to succeed, is going to have to innovate more than just updating head sculpts. Yeah, I have the I have the sideshow C three PO. Mm -hmm. um, How is it? The arm is is made out of fucking paper. The arm just keeps falling apart. It's it's very badly put together, which I'm massively disappointed. With. Yeah, I think that's why that's why I wanted to get the diecast three PO because at least that would be quality. It is there. There's like three of them I think available on eBay. It's just they're crazy expensive. Crazy they're expensive, yeah. Too ex yeah. I've waited for years to get one, but they fluctuate from like six hundred dollars to a thousand six hundred. I'm like, can you just get back to like a normal, healthy price? Um, you showed you Decker. Mm -hmm. Deckard. Deckard. Decker. Well, I think of the eighteen. <laughs> and uh, I have some Harrison Ford toys. Yeah, yeah. That arrived. Uh, five of them. Five of them arrived. Oh! Oh, sweet! These are the, uh, the Hasbro, uh, just come out. Raids of the Lost Ark. I haven't seen these. Now then, I will say one thing. Mm -hmm. I, uh... 
I don't know if I can buy from Hasbro anymore. Why? Because the packaging is the doggest of dog shit imaginable now. They've gone away from plastic fronts right, and they're right, putting right. it in, in shitty boxes and then they're showing you a picture on the front. Mm. So you've got Salah. You've got Todd. And it feels like these, the, it feels like the boxes are made out of recycled fucking paper. Marion. Belloc. Ah, yeah, Belloc. And then, of course, Indy. Indy, Indy. Does it come with the arc? Well, it's a five piece. So you open up, you open them up. They've each got a piece of the arc, and the arc's built in five pieces. And this is, this is. It shows you on the back which piece comes, which piece gotcha. of the arc comes with it. I have a one six scale arc. I've got to pull it out of storage now. Sweet. But I'm going to open these up because Hell yeah. the packaging is so bad. I actually want, I'll get these out and display them. I'll get these out and display them because this is, this is the it, awful packaging. The, Belloc, it feel, feels like recyclable fucking card paper. What is this it's, thin? That thin? Oh, it's just it's rough and, and shite. And they've done the same with the G.I. Joe now. And it's just wow. like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want these, you know. I don't, I don't want this. They're just, they're just, you know, from from being able to to dis look and you open it, open, look at that, open it up, look at that. What the fuck is that? Disgrace. That's not Absolute. how you present. That's not how you present a figure. Uh, so let's. Paper, 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 paper. Horrible, horrible. They're probably, you're probably, you're probably worse on the environment to do it like this and put it into a uh, plastic bubble. However, the toy, it looks, uh, looks pretty fucking great. I think. That's just. Uh, but the indie, good size. That's pretty good for a. For what a six inch for a six inch figure, but yeah, they've, they've done the same with the GI Joe classified, and I'm like, I think I'm out of the, I think I'm out of collecting GI Joe classified now. But you just said, what was it, three weeks ago that you loved? Where you just love it from the Hasbro Plus or Pulse? Yeah. Because I got the the Cobra hisses. Because the Cobra hisses, I wanted to create a really good display and display some of the GI Joes. But now the um, the stuff just looks like, look. They just put the bits in the bag. Come on, it's not sealed. It's not zipped. No, it's not. It's just, just in the bag. Just in a bag. Yeah, I mean that that is no, cheap. That is cheap. Fucking appalling. Absolute Hasbro. This is this is appalling. But is that from Pulse or Hasbro regular? This is Hasbro. Hasbro? This is, ha is this well, Hasbro. Hasbro. No, no. This is Pulse. This is Pulse. So this is this is the Hasbro so it's website. The... Now, okay. They've even put like the map on. That's cute. This is a piece of fucking tissue paper. This is a piece of fucking tissue paper. No, that should have been an accessory. The map. Yes. Not. You are paper. selling to collectors here. These these really aren't for kids. Kids. I know it's. Eco-friendly, which know, ends up... How many times them. do eco-friendly turn out to be way worse for the environment? Like paper straws. Way worse for the environment than fucking plastic straws. I used one once, three months ago, a paper straw, which didn't realize they I bought them. Horrible. Never, never. Great eye. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Took a wound, George. Took a wound. From that, from the cardboard, from the no, wood. Oh, you can see that's an old, that's a few days old. That wound. Paper cut, paper cut. Put my comic box As lid well, on. Oh, I thought you were gonna say when you were grabbing the boobs. You know the ones that were sent to you, those big boobs. They're because soft. How would I paper cut myself on on Laydart? Laydart's big soft boobs. Because it's stitched. I'll stitch Grievous. you, mate. I'll fucking stitch you. Grievous wound, I think. 
I know. I, I might not make it. Might not make it. How are you going to play Resident Evil with that one? How did I you? Been, Is that I, like I, a been, handicap? I mean, I don't like to... Uh, you know, I've been, I've been so playing through it. You George. struggled through it. You actually yeah. fought through the pain. Yeah. On top of no energy drinks, on top of no soda. I'm building a damn statue to you. You should do. You should do. Yes, I know silicone is soft. I'm talking about the stitching. Oh my god, this gun! This gun is is wibbly wobbly soft. It's not. It's soft plastic. It's not even hard plastic. Won't even go in the holster. You're not selling me on these Hasbro figures. Well, that's funny because uh, <laughs> a lot of people have been complaining about the quality, the build quality of the Hasbro figures recently. And this gun is not going into the holster. Mm, I feel yeah. like if I try and push it down, it's just going to bend and snap. <laughs> oh, okay. I managed to I managed to get the gun in the. Ho oh my god! No, I haven't. I need to push it down further. Oh, this is this is. Come on, jeez, Hasbro! Wow. Come on, man. What the actual f u c k? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did it come with his whip? Yeah. That's good. I'm trying to put the uh, the holster, um, uh, you know, flap on. I think I've got it. Maybe. Are you still pushing oh. it in the hole? No, no. I've, I've, oi. 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 I've no smut it's here. It's not in the hole yet. No, it's in the it's in the hole, but I'm trying to put the 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 tag, you know, the uh has it bent in the hole or is it just all the way in? George. George. Yes. I'm here helping you. You're not. I'm gonna smack you. I'm gonna smack your fucking face in a minute. I'm gonna smack you around. You're gonna get kidnapped twice in one lifetime, mate. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Twice, mate. <laughs> right. Did it bend to the left? <laughs> oh, I got it in finally. Wow. <laughs> that took a long time. That was time. tight. It was a tight <laughs> fit, mate. That's like it was that. a tight fit. I had to You're a that up. virgin. <laughs> wow. I'm a I'm a sh okay. <laughs> so I put I managed to get the gun into the holster <laughs> and then put the put the uh there you go, the flap into that hole, which was a bit of a nightmare. Um, there's the uh, let's get the uh, even though he's got the uh, the, the trigger finger on, but there's the whip. Mm. Okay, how's the sculpt? That's what I want to see is how they did the sculpt. That's usually what sells a figure. Oh, mm -hmm. not bad for a six inch figure. No, no, not bad for a six inch at all. They even tried to do the scar. Yeah, wow. Mm. Is it in yet? As oh, come on. Those are the words that no man wants to hear, Lady Heart. Is it in yet? Yes, I've finished. <laughs> I've been fucking watching TV for the last half hour. <laughs> God damn it, Leroy. And then you've got the whip. Which you can which you can put on uh his uh his belt. But I've got to put I've got to bend that over and put the thing in the hole. Yeah. Putting a lot of things in. I know, a I'm lot putting of a lot of things in a lot of holes, George. And bending a lot of things. And it's not easy. A lot mm. of pressure. A lot of pressure, especially the Live camera. on stream. Live especially on stream. The yeah. cameras on you. Did you ever think you'd be doing this? No. Bending and pushing in holes. On Trying to, I mean, wow. I don't know it, what to say. It is not going. It is not going in. It is not going. This is. This Wait, is... didn't your G.I. Joe figures arrive in different cases or were they also in box? They were in they were in um well they've now moved to this type of box. For everything, or is it just that line? Oh no, for for the for the classifier. Everything. Hasbro have changed everything to that now. <laughs> they've changed they got rid of the plastic fronts and they're going, it's bad. Stupid I swear fucking sometimes that, that's stupid <laughs> turtles get their heads stuck in. What the fuck? <laughs> I swear, I swear sometimes I really believe that we, I'm joking, that we live in a simulation and there's just a kid who's bored playing. So he's like, fuck, paper straws. Why not? I, I, no, I can buy that. I can buy that. Ever since the Hydron Collider started, the world's just 
gone to shit. Shit. We've we've gone through a, into a another, another dimension. We're now in the in the mirror universe, or some shit. This is impossible to get in the hole. This is impossible. You should start an OnlyFans page. You know, just listen. No, do you know what I need to start? Yeah. Getting glasses so I can see <laughs> what the fuck I'm doing. Well, that's meant to go on there. Oh, but the you flaps, got it. The flaps, the f- no, but the flap turns up and attaches to the belt, which is fucking what impossible. What happened to his arm? Did you break it? No. Well, it looks broken. It's like what? all fucked Oh, there it is. It's fine. Oh, what are you okay. talking about? Well, it didn't look that way. You had it all twisted behind him. And yeah, I can't get his beef and... curtains done. I can't. Well, then we got a couple of pieces of the uh, arc. Ah, let's see the arc. Well, I've got to open all five to get the arc. So you can't open them. We're up against the clock, George. Oh, oh you want to open and put them all together? I just thought if you opened them up and just put the arc together. Well, yeah, but I just, uh, yeah. Okay. You're not going to have bits of... Because there's no bags. It's just bags of shit everywhere. Gotcha. And you got a whole stuff. Yeah. But I got a, I got a, I got this. I got a couple of other things. You know? Hey, yes, I am that old that I need glasses. I've let it... I've let it leave me be. <laughs> when you get to a certain age, your eyesight just naturally goes and i am you know fucking you over <laughs> look at, looking on a, looking at a computer monitor right in my face all day every bloody day as well which i'm sure is not doing wonders yeah because it's like hey i wasn't really meant for this no humans we weren't really meant for this no not for computer screens we're meant to look at you know fields and forests and i'm an old biddy thank you very much biddy what is yeah. Biddy? An old Biddy. It's just a slang in the UK. This means an old person. An old bit. Look at this. It fucking tissue, like tissue paper. Tissue bag. Oh my god. Oh, and of course, because it's a tissue bag, it just immediately rips. Because it's made out of. This is. Oh, I hate this packaging. Well, you don't have if to put nice, them back. If it's in nice it. packaging, I wouldn't have got them out. But you don't have to put them back in the package. No, but I'm putting them back in the bag so I don't have bags of shit everywhere. Gotcha. Anyway. I haven't seen the mouse today, by the way, so I don't know if Belle got the mouse because Belle brought me a present. Okay. When I was sleeping, a mouse, a live mouse, and then let it go in the house. Just let it go? Like, hello! Whoop. Well, she went to try, you know, she probably wanted to play with it because Belle is a like that but t- she brought it up to the bedroom dropped it in the bedroom and then it hid behind the, the <laughs> shit so then Belle was like looking at it for ages it w- she couldn't get past there and then Belle's just like fuck this just goes to sleep I'm fucking streaming yesterday and a fucking mouse walks <laughs> in the room so I try and catch because I don't want to kill the mouse I'm trying to catch the mouse to, to, to let it go but the mouse you... just hides behind the magic cases and all this kind of stuff, so I can't get the mouse. Why wouldn't you kill the mouse, George? Do you really want a mouse running around in your house so it can have no, all the I, mice? No, I, I wanted to capture the mouse and put it outside. I don't want to kill it. I didn't want to kill it, but I bought a new toy. It's called uh, "Kill That Fucking Mouse." <laughs> So now you want to kill it. Well, I haven't seen it today, but I don't know if it's just like hiding. I don't know if it, I don't know. Um, probably afraid. So I, 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 tonight I'm going to shut the door in the office and I'm going to mm. put a couple of these. Kara as has a, no, I don't. I do not have a heart. Slander. I don't know. Well, it's, you it's, just, it's, you it's, just it's said it's you didn't want to kill the mouse. Well, it's libel. It's not slander. It's libel because you wrote it down. Well, think about Libelous. it. You, you just said you didn't want to kill the mouse, so you just proved you had actually like a kind of a little bit of a lefty heart almost. Look, Big, I have been sat here on a computer. Bell has walked in the office Big with a mouse, a live mouse in her ha- in her mouth. 
just plonked herself down mm. and looked me in the eye and just woofed the mouse down. Just gone. Because <laughs> you're saying this is how it's done, boss. Well, she's just saying, yeah, look what I caught. Spoils to the victor. Maybe, so the she's victor trying, goes to maybe she's trying to say, hey, daddy. Well, she's saying, she's saying, I brought, this, I, I brought you this mouse to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> but I ate it. <laughs> no, well, no. This one that she's yes, just let but... loose. It's like this is let's go hunting together, Daddy. So you have to hunt now. Like well, I got my fucking hunting tools. So I'm gonna put some cheese and maybe a bit of sugar. I don't I haven't got any sugar anymore in the house. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that. We're gonna put some Jeez. cheese on a trap, which is so stereotypical. But, yeah. I'm going to put some cheese on a trap and I'm going to put two or three around in the office and see what we got in the morning. But these are meant to be insta kills. Insta like when it's when it's snap, that's a net gone done. Wow. You're going to hear the little bones crunching. Can your heart take it? Well, no, no. I'm going to be in bed asleep with a door. Well, what shut. happens if it happens when you're streaming Resident Evil? Just a well, question. You got to be well, prepared. Because they're, they're not. They're in here, George. I know, but when you lay them down, it may not come out tonight. It may be, you know what? I'm going to make my death a spectacle. I'm not catching Bell because I'm going to shut the door of the office. I know. So you're not going to put them anywhere else. No, I'm just okay. going to put them in the office where the mouse was last seen know, hiding you, behind my modgy cases. But you understand that the mice can actually squeeze their bodies and can go into different areas. I'm just saying. You might want to put them in more than one area. Yes, but if I put them downstairs, then Belle's going to fucking go and have a sniff, isn't she? Mm, good point. So Maybe. I'm going to I'm going to try the office first. Mm -hmm. If nothing if nothing comes of this, last night Belle might have might she might have had it last night. So she might have already swallowed it. Yeah, so, yeah, I did. I did hear a little bit of something going on in here last night when I was trying to sleep. So I don't know if if uh, Bell maybe found the mouse and then destroyed the mouse. I haven't seen head and tail of it today, <laughs> but it could be snuggled behind the um, modgy cases, man. Could be. Could have, should have, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Let me see those traps again. Never seen those before. Water resistance. Oh, nice. Huh. Pack of six. Here we use a lot of, we use these poison traps. Basically, they eat it. You know, you lay it down, they eat it, and then it, they go somewhere else and just. No, I'm not having a mouse rotting in my room. I understand. I want to see confirmation. You want then to I'm see Then I'm going to show Bell. I'm going to be like... It's your job. So that's some... There's some death toys that I bought. Um, right. These arrived today, both of them. Which? Even though one of them was meant to arrive at the end of this month, these aren't toys, but they're kind of toys in a way, I guess. Uh, but these are a couple of collector's edition 4Ks. Oh. For Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Because Batman and Batman Returns are already out in uh, collectors, so I, I got these uh, collectors boxes because they got they got some cool stuff. Like what? They got some cool stuff, some photos, some uh, postcards. Are you gonna watch them? Uh, they weekend? got the steel box. They got the steel boxes. I don't know. I don't know whether to keep them sealed. My currently my Batman and Batman Returns are both sealed, okay. and now this completes the 4K of those. I already have the 4K trilogy of the Dark Knight trilogy. Sealed? And um I don't I don't I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But uh, yeah, so I thought these these were just like gonna be on that cool. Very nice. Just to I go, didn't like I, the movies, but yeah, they're cool to collect. Uh, yeah, I mean <laughs> horrible movie. Horrible movie. Well, I, tell you what, I, I would watch Batman and Robin all day, every day, than this shite that Marvel's putting out right now. Ah, that's a different story. Compared to Marvel today, yeah. Come on, did you, I saw your Blue Beetle video. Oh. Wow. Oh, by the way, the director of Blue Beetle has now protected their Twitter account. 
Why is that? Uh, oh, well, he he wished that uh, he said he hopes that uh, the orange man gets um, gotcha, li Link Lincoln. His presidency ends ends the way Lincoln's did. Well, I read that Susan Sarandon was saying like she was when she was proud to do this woke film. Like she's like oh, she's a villain and she's proud to play that. She not only likes bad guys, but she went on about how woke the film is. She's like, look. They're Hispanic heroes with a Hispanic family. We've never seen that before. I'm like, okay. Hi, Zorro. I know. They see. They, they don't understand these things. But then when they, in the end of the video, I went and watched a trailer calling Batman a fascist. I was like, what the fuck? Well, this is because it's made by fucking morons. The thing is, is it the outfit looks horrible. I mean, you, you, yeah. you explain that better than anybody. Again, yeah, CW. CW trash. But the special effects are like CW trash. I can't see this doing well. Do you know what isn't trash? Hmm. Square Enix bring art figures. Square Enix bring art. Bring arts figures. Okay. I have to so you got the play arts Kai, mm -hmm. which are six inch, I think, approximately. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit bigger. And maybe nine inch. And then you've got the bring arts, which are smaller, but massively articulated. And I don't know if I showed this one off. And I was just put, putting this in storage, or this is to go to storage. So I thought I'd show it again, but this is the uh, Dragon Quest VI. Terry. Lovely box. And then you open it up. No, and I haven't seen that this That is packaging. That is how you put a collector's packaging out, man. Wow. So look at those wonderful face changes, portrait changes beautiful hands the accessories that come with it absolutely gorgeous gorgeous that is how you present that is how you present and on the back it shows the figure in different poses as well that's how you present not this absolute Dog shit that Hasbro is now putting their uh, packet stuff in. Can you show the front again, real quick? Yeah, gold, okay. nice gold foil. Mm. Very nice. So I got, I got all the Bring Arts Final Fantasy Nine range. Mm. They're in a the cabinet downstairs. They look great. Um, I got one more thing. Just one more, one more thing that I picked up the other day. Did you this see in Blue Beetle in the trailer where he did that uh, Final Fantasy sword style? Well, Power, Power Rangers, whatever you want to call it. You know, the whole thing was a ripoff of other characters. Right. Everything. Iron Man, Spider Man. And Power wasn't, the guy, wasn't, that, wasn't that the kid from Cobra Kai? Yeah. The actor. So, uh, solo, whatever. And then. Um, Ah, dungeon. Is this? Oh. This is Warriors of the Eternal Sun, Dungeons and Dragons, Mega Drive, Sega Genesis to the US. One of the I adore this cover. This is this I think is a, a phenomenal cover. Great game. I love this game. I'm kind of thinking, just when I didn't want any more rabbit holes to fall down, I'm thinking of getting some Mega Drive. Some Mega Drive games. But this is in uh, pretty good nick. Considering this came out in 1992. And then even inside... Ladies. Even inside, the manual is in pretty damn good condition. Does the cartridge work? Who knows? But in pretty, pretty good condition for the manual as well. But that's 1992, so that's 31 years old now. Very nice. 30, so the condition for 31 years old, fantastic. I got this so I can put my headphones on. So I'm out of figures today. I don't know if you can see Oh! Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I like it. I, I found it online. I was like, you know, I really like this. And that is just for putting your headphones on. Yeah, it's not something people can see, but I was like, might, might as well show it. That um, is awesome. Damn. You should paint that up. 
I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it because I think it would look really good. Yeah. They did a pretty good job. It wasn't. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't expensive at all. It was like, I think. What is it? Yeah, three, three, three 3D printed. Yeah, it was $15 plus yeah. I mean, $2 shipping or $3, but I like nice. it. Nice. Like right. Let's go through some supery duperies. Let's go through some super chat. Thank you for waiting patiently, my good peoples. Martino Schmone Martino. has become a member at the Witcher level. Thank you, Martino. And uh, hey, good luck with everything still. Always. Uh, Frank Hool has been a sorcerer for 15 months and says, radicalized and monetized. Well, we're going to see if the Hot Toys channel gets monetized soon and then. So I can start putting some, some. I got some ideas for some good videos. You do what? Yeah, yeah. Because I I, we were going to do some filming of the uh, the self transforming uh, Optimus Prime when my brother comes up. Cool. I got a couple ideas too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good ideas. Mm. Brilliant, actually. Martino Simone with a 50 Swiss francs says, Gentlemen, your streams are like a much needed hug. Washes the woke away. Everyone needs a bosom for a pillow, dude. Uh, Man of War 665, Neighbor of the Beast with a 665. Super chat. So now you expect us to subsidize the sizest agenda. Yes. Yes, I do. If it gets monetized, memberships immediately up. Super chats immediately up. Super chats? No. What's the other one? The what, what's the, no, because well, no, it was that one. Gifting. No, that one we, if Kickers? you watch a video. So thank no, you. When you, if you watch a super thanks, that's it. Super thanks. Super thanks. Oh, immediately up. Immediately. Uh, so Boy of Lard has been a sorcerer for six months and says, much most underrated TNG episode. It's probably Pen Pals for me. Oh, I hate it. I hate that episode. Pen Pals. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 This has got to be a troll comment. Yeah. Got to be a troll comment. Uh, Hitchhiker42 with a two pound. Did you see the first contact wharf XO six T's? No, but first contact wharf. That's what I was talking about. He's got the suit on when they go out to do combat with the uh, oh. Borg, the space. No, suit. I, I didn't. I thought I thought you meant the Picard wharf. No, no. That's why people were saying, "Why are you going to release this?" He's like, "Because I like it, and it's whatever I want." The owner of the company. Mm. He's got the whole space suit, you know. Can you take it off? And has he got his costume? I, I don't know. He just showed a picture. I'll find you the picture. I'll show it too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have a look at that. Big Rog has been a sorcerer for 26 months. Says, hey, Az tried mailing you something, but he got returned to sender. Yeah, because I don't... I told you my, my PO box, I stopped it last year, six months ago. I said that. Can you DM me uh, at uh, on Twitter if you'd like to make other arrangements? Okay, thank you, dude. There you go. Let's have a look. Hey, Luke. Ooh. Let me see if I can get this blow this up. Oh, he's got the uh he's got the arm of the Borg around the hole in the cos in the suit. Yeah. So that's what they've shown so far, but he's like, it's coming out. He's, he says, Oh, he, he's next to a Picard one. Yep, it's supposed to do the other one, but first, but first, him. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I hope there's one that comes with a costume, one that doesn't, so you can have a. I'm sure eventually he's going to do them all, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's just a matter of time. But I think it looks really good. I think it's going to work. I think it's mm -hmm. going to work. I really want, mm, I can't tell you, haven't seen it yet. Well, yeah, you actually have. In Picard, I like the way Worf is dressed now in Picard season three. With the yeah. But is that a Batleth or is that a the no. one that's bigger than a Batleth? I can't remember. It's, it's, it's the sword. There's a, it's got a, I don't know the specific name. There's a but name he's, for he's it. He's not, yeah, yeah, there is a name for it. 
But he's not using a batleth, he's using the sword. I know it's a, a, a leth something, I just can't remember what the hell the name is. It's like the... Kayleth. <laughs> uh, Juggernauts with a twenty dollar says have to go back and rewatch the Alice in Borderlands finale. You said there is something that could lead to a season three, but I thought it wrapped up the whole storyline pretty Mecca. completely. And you're right, it was perfect. Yeah, Thank there is you. a there is a little thing right at the end. Right at the end, I can't say what. I can't. Well, what not is want to it? say. Hmm? A Borderlands three. What is it? I can't tell you. You're gonna to have to watch. All right. He it's, said a mech, it's a mech. It's a mech left. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Can't yep, save yep. the day again. Yeah, there's a little thing when they're in the in the end segment when they are wrapping it up. There is a thing. Rewatch it, and you you'll see a thing. It's not subtle. It's there, right in your face. Um, uh, Bushin Rayu Cat with the five dollars says, "Hey, lads." Ordered the new Lizzie Star Wars toy, but post office said there was no room in my mailbox. Oh, they recommend a flatbed truck. <laughs> I'll keep my day job. <laughs> did you see talking about Star Wars? Did you see that Juiced is going to be doing the TIE Fighter? The full 1-6? Are you going to get one? No. I'm done oh. with Star Wars. No, I'm done. old Star Wars, not Disney Star Wars. I know, Wars. I know, I know, but uh, I... Uh... Are you done with all Star Wars, like you, your movies and stuff that you love? Mm, pretty much. Come apart, on, from the, you... apart from the OG trilogy. But that's what I'm talking about. He's making the, uh, an OG New I Hope know. Star Wars TIE Fighter. Because he said he's not going to make the uh, X-Wing. He says he should have, it's too big. So he's only going to make the cockpit. I don't, probably not. Mm. Gotcha. I think that snow speed is going to be my my uh... bad batches. I do not like the bad batch. I do not like the bad. Batch. I thought you had a couple. Gaza, fuck off! Didn't you have a couple? What bad batch figures? Yeah, and I was gonna, but I haven't. Uh, well, uh, I've got a couple, and I've ordered the third, but that was really to kind of go because they were like. A realistic version of them mm -hmm. that was really to go with my um 501st yeah i got you and now i'm just like after everything that's gone on recently i'm just like i'm so fucking done so done you know? yeah i ordered the anakin and uh, the mace they canceled the rest all of my marvel stuff you canceled the mace. No, I ordered the. I canceled all my Marvel stuff this week. Everything. Did you? Yeah, yeah, everything. I was just because I, I mm. everything, and so. But I ordered. I didn't realize that Anakin and Mace had come out, had been really open for pre order. So I ordered them. It's funny you should say that because I was thinking of going through my sideshow orders, and ones that I'd only put a deposit on, just canceling. Mm -hmm. And just taking that as a loss. I even uh, took reward anything that's, anything that's paid for, you know, obviously all I'm going to be paying is is import fee. I, I will say I did keep one, one Marvel thing, which is the Loki, the Richard E. Grant Loki. Um, well, the, yeah, because that was Richard E. Grant, and Richard E. Grant was great. He was the best thing about that show, and he was in it for barely no time. Right, so I did keep that, so I can be correct for the record. And that you could use as a as an OG oh, Loki. Loki. Mm -hmm. My Endgame Loki just arrived. Well, it didn't just arrive. It arrived a couple of months ago. I haven't even bothered to show that. <laughs> it's just in a box ready to go and store. I haven't seen it. <laughs> just okay. in a box, ready to go storage. And uh so sad what they did. Look at us. I'm so I know, I know. This is we this were is... so excited when we were watching them and ordering them, and now it's like I could care less. I even canceled the. Remember, I told you how much I wanted that figure, and I didn't even like the movie, the Doctor Strange with the multiple hands. With the, the multiple, yeah, and I did. Yeah, I did. Canceled, I did. Canceled him. Canceled him. Canceled the uh, Scarlet Witch, because uh, I wanted her whole spell. But, but I'm like, I don't care. I just don't want anything to do with it. Um, 
I'm I'm the same, dude. I I'm am the same. I'm the verge to cancel Star Wars, but that's like that and Lord of the Rings and Batman and Superman are my main lines. And I have so much Star Wars stuff. Yeah, because I had um Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, why have I got a notification on Sideshow? You placed an order. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Um yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually. If I go to my orders now on Sideshow, and if I go to uh, Scarlet, I think I have the Scarlet search. The one with the right. Here Scarlet. we go. Scarlet Witch. Uh, order was placed. Uh, oh, due due for release. Okay, expected April to July. Let me just let me just see. Let me go to my order and see if I if I've just deposited it or paid. Oh, I just put a deposit on. Right. Okay. Bye. Gone. Gone. Yep. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through my sideshow orders and I'm just going to take, uh, you know, I'm going to take a couple of hundred quid probably losses. But at the end of the day, a couple of hundred quid losses to paying for the figures and having them shipped over. And I'm going to, I'm not going to want them. Yeah. Um, no, I'm done. I'm so done. Maybe so high pros will get a grip and get a lesson. They used to years ago go after independent licenses, but Marvel was so good to them. And Disney that they drop them all. When they well, get that's, enough their, of these, that's their problem. When they get enough of these orders, when they it's start great. having a backlog, when they can't sell the shit, then we'll start to see some real figures come out of there. But we, but we've spoken recently as regards to the Hot Toy sideshow figures, uh, Hot Shop, Hot Toy Marvel figures, and when Rob was on, not yet last week, but when he was on for the, that special. Yeah, yeah, and and he was even saying, yeah, did he did you order the Ant Man and the Wasp? No, did you order the you know from the previous movie? No, did you, Robert? No, yeah, he didn't either. And, and you know, we, we you know we we kind of have our our unofficial motto is of the answer is always yes, right? And now Not they're anymore. making they're making us say no. Yeah, and you have to think about it. If we're saying no, people who are active, <laughs> obsessive yeah, we, collectors. We, how we are, are every day and not only in collecting and everything else that's why you see the movies are down they they still have figures of ray you got posters not selling all of that it, it trickles out when you have people who are obsessed with getting these things and being completionists and collecting everything going I, I don't care yeah that's just it we i mean we are the prime no pun intended uh we are the prime audience mm -hmm the prime customer for this product right. and if we're now going no and we've seen what happened to the doctor who merch dead oh god they dead. announced today they're having a drag queen in this new doctor who well that's well i've read it today i don't, I don't want to go into it i don't want to go into it okay i get myself into trouble because youtube don't don't like you gotcha well i just read it in the news today but no problem it's not the first well i'm not gonna i'm gonna not today. Nick S. Uh, <laughs> Nick S. <laughs> even though we talk about loads of different things. With a right. five dollars, says I try to cut out be uh, breads. That said, Greek Easter is approaching, and I cannot say no to Soreki. Ah, Soreki, Soreki. Delicious. Yeah. Love it, love it. See, because half the family is Jewish, half Christian, so we have Easter and Passover. So yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, Nick S again with a five dollar says, by the way, as you're looking great, keep strong on the diet. Just the start. Long way to go, but thank you. Uh Mr. Jimmy became a member at the bad level. Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. And Man of War 665, neighbor of the beast with two back to back six dollar sixty five super chats. George. Yes. That's why Az gets these things before you. It's the least they can do after bending him over the counter on these postal feet. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> he ain't wrong. Uh, I, I, 
I bought a couple of uh, things to send to American people from Sideshow. And I was just like, how come this is so shit? Oh, yeah, no. The delivery is like 90% less and there's no right. import fee. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it used to be different here from Sideshow. We didn't have all these taxes that they tack on. Now it's, I mean, it's gone up probably by $20, $25 minimum. And when you talk about statues, it's even worse. Well, I'd have sympathy if I wasn't paying $200. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying it's like a lot has changed. Both you're paying more, I'm paying more from the one and when I first started in this. Uh, and then Man of War's second one is nearly $1,000, 1K dollars into Hero Quest since relaunch after Wizards of the Coast OGL debacle have since pulled the plug on all support of HQ releases going forward, has broken. He does put that email there. Has broken. Has broken. Great uh, going on. Yeah, I, like I said, you know, I'm not... These were, right. these were already bought. These were already bought. And I, right. you know... But this, this, this packaging is dog shit. shit. Yeah. I can see you, the way you showed it. It's not just that. It's like, I can't display this. Right. And as a collector, I, I'd, I'd like to display them in their plastic, you know. Right. Crap. Isn't Hot Toys going that route as well now? Oh, I don't know. Well, Hot Toys can... They've got to be careful, mate, because they can really lose my business. Right. You know, because I'm... With all this stuff that I've been getting from Hot Toys... The vast majority of it really has been like Marvel and, and, and Star Wars stuff. So if I it, it's outside, well, I've already decided to completely pull the plug on the Marvel. Star Wars, uh, of the, on the Marvel. And on the Star Wars side, it's like uh, so selective now. If it ain't 501st, it probably ain't going to get touched. Right. Simple as. So uh, let's just say Hot Toys probably won't be a difficult brand to drop. Particularly if the in art proved to be really good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, maybe the one in sixes I put to one side, focus on my brilliant Transformers. I've got another Transformer arriving on Saturday. Oh, what, who's that? That was, I, I, this is why I love dealing with this company that I'm dealing with for the Transformers, because they emailed me and they said, hey, we, we saw that you bought the Acid Storm. And we've got the one of these has just come into stock. Wow. Do you, do you that, want that is, it? That's Before, very good customer service. That is excellent customer service. Now, I purchase a good bit from them, right? Mm -hmm. But their customer service is superb. I used to purchase Absolutely a ton of stuff from Sideshow and Toys Wonderland. Like, I'm like, hey, I put a wing on your fucking place. Didn't hear from them. Hey, I got it. That's well, very they, good. I like this that. Is it. When you, you know, I certainly I give them business. But they provide me with excellent customer service. I like excellent. That. Uh, and so, because I I messaged them again, I I messaged them and I said, uh, "Hey, do you?" Because they said, "Look, they actually sent me an email saying, look, you've been purchasing a lot from us, and we just want to mm -hmm. say thank you, um, customer service, folks. It's incredible. Yeah. They just sort of said thank you for you know because you've been placing a lot of orders with us. Anything you you want, just drop us a line, and we'll see if we can accommodate. <laughs> no no promises, but we'll see if we can accommodate." So I, I said, look, I, I emailed them a, a, and I said, look, I picked up the two Decepticon headmasters from Fans Toys, um, but the Werewolf one, they're going to be doing a reissue. Are you going to be getting the reissue? And they said, well, we haven't gone live with the page, but I'm going to send you the link. You can go and pre-order it from that link directly. Well, yeah, that's sweet. But that's the way it's supposed to work. You take care of your customers, your customer support, you take care of you. Don't shit yeah, on so them. Th this is where I go for my business now. This is where I go for my fans' toys business now. Very good. Very good. You know, if they, I'll, I'll always look on there first. You got to send me the link to that company then. It's a UK company. Well, so, you know, well, they will, but, you know, you'll be probably in the same boat that I am as regards to shipping and fees. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, but for the for being UK based and having that that uh, custom level of customer service is is brilliant. I'm always I'm just they will always be in the first company I'll go to now. Absolutely. So I've got a big a nice back order of of um, pre order stuff because I'd rather go with them. Customer is king, and, and and I don't mean that in a, a you know bolshy kind of a way. 
But no, the, but customer that's true. Is, the customer is king, and you no should trust them. No money. Exactly. That's it's not basic. fucking rocket science. This. It's simple. It's not that. rocket science. That's why it's hard what Hollywood has done. It's like they broke the golden rule. It's the recipe is simple. Give the customer what they want. Mm -hmm. That's it. And all they do, I mean, or say all they do, it's nice. But what they do is they give me excellent customer service. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies could learn from this company. A lot of companies could learn. Yeah. I, I mean, I say, I, I've, I've, I've said this, I'll respond to chat the way that they respond to, that, that they talk to me. So if somebody in chat is like being a sarky twat, I'll be a sarky twat back. And if they start going, no, 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 I'm talking to you how you're talking to me. If someone's respectful to me, I speak to them respectfully back, regardless of whether or not we have a different viewpoint on stuff is irrelevant. Right. It's the way that you communicate. This is this is a company that's been giving me superb customer service since day one, mm -hmm. and uh, they've they've won my business because of it. That's wonderful. Yeah, I like to hear that because that that always it's like you saw that video on Twitter of that hero, the one who saved the snowboarder who was. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But I think it's good to know stuff like that because you know in the world. Every day, there's people out there that we haven't, we don't have a video of, who are saving people, who are helping, who are not thinking only about themselves. Just like you have a company out there who's going, we're going to be a traditional company. We're going to take care of the customer. Mm. The, uh, the, com special. the company I'm referring to is called Prime Time Toys with a Z at the end. Oh, PrimetimeToys.co.uk. They've been excellent. Wonderful. Excellent. excellent. Um, BMCCB has been a sorcerer for a month. Uh, you're old as, but you won't always be. Ah! Obi Wan's trying to groom me. Uh, Darren Murphy with a twenty dollars says, "Hey, as I tagged you in an animation I just finished for Steph, my nerdy, nerdy home, it's based on the DC Trinity. Just wanted to let you know I came up with the idea while watching." Fully articulated way back. Thanks for the great streams. Nice one, Darren. I'll, I'll uh, check it out later. Uh, Nullface with the $5 says, that's better packaging than Hasbro on those mousetraps. Yes. <laughs> those mousetraps, yeah. Uh, Nicholas Krauser with the $5 says, I got to know if you pre-ordered the Bring Arts Tifa. It's jaw-dropping. Of course. Of course it did. Uh, and the Bring Arts Cloud, which is uh, also available for pre-order. Yeah. Uh, Mexican Iron Man with a $5 says, the two of you are hilarious. Cheers, Mike. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Uh, are you the funny one or am I the funny one? You know, you're definitely funny, all right, George. <laughs> in the in ad. Uh, classy vigilante with a sorcerer for five months says hello still waiting on both my netflix and game white wolf Geralt. my siri came in and started falling apart so i stored it thanks for the streams yeah i got both the series from different companies neither will, i didn't think were particularly good um my Geralt, which i ordered two years plus ago delayed but like i said i've basically just given up on receiving anything from toys wonderland ever again so um, did you contact them the last time and tell them that you need to get this resolved or you're done no i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna well they're, i'm already done with them for a start goddamn terrible company yeah um but i definitely need to uh put something together going these are all these orders never received Never received any of them. And you but, don't want store but, credit. Like, just like chalk up no. the money. It's like no store credit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen the Primus that is out for pre order. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be picking that up. Um, yeah, when you're dealing with like Unicron and Primus, these are so massive. It, you know, fit, like in the world figures that are picking them up is just like. Eh. 
I'm here at this place. It has the seed. It says season two seed transformers. I, I like that. It looks nice. How big is that? Uh, which one? Because that's what you're talking about. The Primus, right? It oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seed transformers, the Primus, yeah. I don't know how big that. Uh, so it says 17.7 inches. Oh, I don't see that. Okay. If you click onto it. Okay. Height, 45 centimeters, which mm -hmm. is 17.7 centimeters. Final price expected to be in the region of 300 pounds. Mm. But they give you those, they give you those little um, things. And I managed to pick up, I picked up, I've now got nine Sharky Cons. Yeah. Which Pretty are great. Cool. Nine, I've cool. managed to get, so I transformed one of them. So I've got, I managed to pick up nine of these. So they're going to go, they're going to go well when I uh, do a little. Uh, a little scene, probably with uh, hot rod and stuff. Um, but the acid storms are still, which is acid swarm in this. But the acid storms are uh, in stock, and uh, it's great. You know, I showed it off last week. Right, it's right here. Let me just grab it. These, uh, these are really, these are really good. I did, I did. That. I mean, that color scheme for acid, acid storm is just. So it works really well. Look at that. I mean, that is beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Very articulate. Great price. Good for heft. The, uh, hmm? Good, good heft. heft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got good heft on it. It's definitely heavier than the uh, Takara Masterpieces, but it transforms differently. And it does actually have uh, some die cast on it. Uh, where do we get to? Classy Vigilante has been a source of... Oh, no. Zaid Comics with a $2 says, uh, Hey, yo, what are your thoughts on XM slash Iron Studios? I think the statues are gorgeous. I do have um, the XM Rodimus Prime. I've already paid for the XM Studios Galvatron, which is due out next year, but I've already paid it off. Done. Got. That's and I cool. really want the Bumblebee. I really, really want to pick up that Bumblebee. I'm surprised. XM Studios. Uh, I'm surprised you're not going after Optimus. Right. If I was going after Optimus, right. The reason why I've gone with Rodimus Galvatron is I've got, mm -hmm. I've got Optimus and all his crew over there and stuff. Okay. But there's Makes no sense. Megatron to go with Optimus. Not yet. It, not yet. But you know, if they if they put out a. Um, if they put out an, uh, a Megatron to go with the Optimus, I'll probably pick up both. I got you. Okay. But, you know, but it, I already knew that there was the Rodimus that was out and there was a Galvatron coming. So I was planning ahead. Oh, I've got to have Rodimus and Galvatron then. And then, but the Bumblebee looks so good. I could, in theory, have the Bumblebee with Optimus because mm -hmm. they would work really well because that, that Bumblebee is looking. And amazing. they give you the little car. They, yeah, they you get the little car. I got, I got the, I got here yeah, actually. I haven't seen it. I've wanted to see I've it. Misplaced you... though, George. I'm so angry with myself. You misplaced. I've misplaced the um, the wing mirrors. Really? Yeah, I don't know what I did with them. I thought I put them with the Rodimus's arms, mm. but uh, I haven't. So I don't know what I've done with the wing mirrors. But yeah, you get the you get the beautiful. Rodimus car and it comes with like a uh, hexagonal base oh. which you put together to put it on top of but and this is you know this is magnetically put on and often the grill at the front is that's that's magnetically put on as wow. well but so yeah you get this with the statue as well and the statues are one in three i mean that looks dope yeah. I, I i don't know where i put the bloody wing mirrors to go here well here you can always here. you can always email them and tell them if you can't find it, you know, say hey. I don't know I mean, if they. Oh, I might love to, but I don't know if they could do anything for me because I got this from. Um, uh, I got this from. Uh, what's my jiggy? Spec, spec fiction. Spec, spec fiction. Yeah, not not XM Direct. Yeah, usually you can if you email in case you can't find them. Have, uh, oh, this is game. this is chunk. This yeah, is yeah. this is this is heft. This are, is are heft. Hmm. Are there lights on it that are on, or is that oh, no, just paint? It's, light, it's the light reflecting. Oh, but, wow. But the Rodimus's eyes light up. Okay, okay. You can put batteries in the head, and the, and the Rodimus eyes will light up. And 
the matrix of power will light up matrix oh, leadership. i want to see that cool next time will uh will light up as well but yeah this is this is beautiful that is so beautiful very nice so, oh it is it is it is so yeah the xm stuff uh zade is uh very well phenomenal made. i think they they the quality of them the rodimus is just my rodimus statue uh let me just see let me just open up my um insta to see if i i think i took a couple of pickies uh, back in there uh of the rodimus statue did i did i just put them on uh twitter i think i just put them on twitter because not on Insta. How have I not put them up on in my Insta? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. Good. Okay, so here's my... My XM Rodimus. Oh. Although the Matrix you can see is already lit on this one. And then uh, these eyes will light up. You just... There's a panel you can take off. Mm -hmm. put, some, uh, put some batteries in there, and then those eyes will... Light up, and this this picture just doesn't do it justice, justice. at all. Um, how bright? Are, how bright is the? How bright are the LEDs? This this glows. This this is a it flickers, like a different it flickers like different colors. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's uh the batteries last about two days because it's like a you know watch battery, and when you pull the thing out, it's on. It's on. Exactly. It's not. It's not. You can't you click something to turn can't off. Turn it it's off. off. Yeah. Ooh. So it just, but that's that's fine. It just means you know rechanging the battery or whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a really really cool uh, Rodimus Rodimus Prime. Uh, that one. So yeah, XM Studio, uh, great quality, great quality. Uh, no face with the ten dollars says the Black Series Reva lightsaber replica fails to hit crowdfunding goals. Will not enter production. It's official. Your mouse traps sold more units than the woke saber. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did videos on that Reva lightsaber because the uh, at the same time the Cobra hiss was also up for pre-order from Haslabs, and the Cobra hiss didn't just hit its target; it annihilated it, and it ended up selling twenty, think twenty six thousand units uh wow. so that and they they needed just like eight to go into production and it did twenty six thousand. the reaver needed five thousand to go into production and by the end of the campaign 1300 people had signed up <laughs> so it didn't it didn't just slightly miss its goal like the rancor monster the the black series rancor monster didn't go into production and very nearly hit its goal, but it didn't, and it never went into production. But the Which Reaver was, was no nowhere close. No, of course not. Not even, not even close. But that's uh, why it's like they, they can't continue. There is a certain point as they are running out of money, as they're firing people. Yeah, that's a beauty. So good though, isn't it? Have you ever picked up anything though from Iron Studios? Because I've, I've picked up several things before from them. Maybe I should bring one of them out. I had the uh, Sentinel. Did you ever see the One Tenth Sentinel? At the X Men house, uh, yeah, I do. I, I I would like a couple of um, Haslab Sentinels. I've not seen Has. I'll have to go check it out. Oh yeah, the Haslabs did a Sentinel. I missed out on it, which was so annoyed with. It's like the Unicron. I could have ordered a Unicron. Why didn't I order a Unicron? You weren't in the mood. I'm wrong in the head, mate. I'm wrong in the head at times. And now, if I want to get a Unicron, instead of spending 350 quid, which is what it would have been, I've got to pick one up for like 2,000 quid. No. Oh, wow. No. Wow. No. Yeah. I'm sort of like, I'll go a grand. I'll go a grand. But I ain't going beyond a grand. Right. A grand plus shipping. But I ain't going above that. So these 2,000... Off, mate. Off. Uh, not going to happen. Uh, George! Yes? There we go. The show is we even, know, we're even it, overtime. It, it goes by too fast. Like we need to extend it. This, but you gotta leave the audience wanting more. 
I know. This is this is it. Now now they're gonna well, be... I have such a great time. And I'm sure they <laughs> have such a great time. <laughs> I know Unicron's left now. I know. Uh, so uh, you're gonna stream now? I, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. And then I'm going to stream uh, the end of uh, all the way through now to the end of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Legalize adulthood with a $50 just at the end. As you magnificent base turd, uh, Yorkshire Gold has these, uh, displaced Earl Grey is my favorite tea. Nice. Yorkshire Gold is delicious. It is delicious tea. I'll take a sip of that and I'm just like, mm. what do you mean you don't speak for me? On what? What, 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 who am I speaking for? What am I speaking for? Who, what, what, who, what, when, what? Who, what, 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 who, what, he? Oh, we'll always leave them wanting more. You don't, okay, 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 okay. Take that as a compliment. Take that as a compliment. Legalize adulthood. Thank you for a monster super. Monster, monster super. Thank you. Um, I know, but uh, my brother comes up on Tuesday. Okay. So next week's Hot Toys, my brother's going to be here. Mr. Porkchop. Mr. Porkchop might actually be live on the stream with me. Sweet. Which most likely means we'll be getting some Lego in. Oh, showing, right. some, showing some Lego off next week. I like Maybe it. Maybe. Rivendell? The, the Rivendell! Can't wait. Rivendell. Rivendell. God damn it, George! Me Riven and me. V and me. George, I know where you fucking live. <laughs> right? I know where you fucking live. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Not a Riven threat. Hell. Not a threat, George. Not a threat. Just a oh, fact. I, Just I a fact. I know where you live. I know where you live. I know. We know. We know where each where other lives. Live. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Does, does Resident Evil ever have? Do they have any version of it? Real quick before we go, yeah. that is a multiplayer. Uh, yeah, actually, um, they did a they did a couple. They did one which was a complete failure. But Resident <laughs> Evil Five, <laughs> it was it was terrible. That doesn't count. It was a complete terrible. One. But uh, Resident Evil Five, you could to have two player cooperative. Gotcha. Because I've been Resident watching you play, and I I, I want to play. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's single player. I saw you take on that, whatever the fuck that creature was in the lake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I thought we were in Moby Dick. <laughs> yeah. We I don't even know what that was. I don't know. It kind of looks like a, a, a like a tadpole that's just gone out of control or something. Because it was but, dragging you. <laughs> mm. It was dragging me around. Um... Oh yeah, and I'll have my neck I'll have my new transformer next week. Oh, I will have two new transformers next week because I procured an another fan toy, another fans toys one. Well, that's fans toys is better than your trans toys. So. Still transformers. What? That's still transformers. I don't think people know that when they hear you say trans toys. I'm just trying to. Oh, it's been so nice having George on the show. It's so sad that he accidentally slit his throat while shaving. Um, great loss to the world. Uh, F's in the chat uh, for George Molo. In the arms of an eight. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, well. All right. I can't wait to watch you stream a little bit later. I got to go work on a video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was just like, oh, no, I didn't show that up. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to replace that Lord of the Rings because it's too small, I guess, in the camera. I did get these. Oh, oh wait a minute. Very nice. Very nice. Beauty. Beauty. It's nice. Uh, George, is there anything you'd like to plug before we go, dear sir? I'm working on a surprise video, so if everybody would like, go check out my current one called Hollywood Autopsy. I break down. I actually go through a little bit of the history of Hollywood from the silent film era all the way to where we are today after uh, shiving Disney 
right in the side for everything they've done. Basically saying how Hollywood has gone through almost three near extinction events. And they yes. evolved each time. So it's like, are they going to do it this time or not? So hope you enjoy that. Until uh, Sunday, I'll have a new video out. WJ Valente, 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 mm -hmm. WJ Valente. With a twenty dollars, did you guys take any interest in lightsaber collecting, such as Saber Forge? Well, we just discussed the Reaver lightsaber failure. Ironically enough, I think about two weeks after that failed, they didn't put on Haslabs; they just put up for general pre-order mm -hmm. the Luke Skywalker FX lightsaber. And I actually did order that. And I still have it on order and I still want it to come because I think that would be a lovely piece to uh, to display. And uh, Luke is uh, OG the best. They're, they're, trying to, they're trying to Jake Skywalker him, you know? They're trying to do everything, emasculate him, gay him. They're trying to do everything to destroy him. Uh, but Luke is the best. OG Luke will always be the best. He's a uh, farm oh. boy. Farm boy who rose and did good. Yeah, not a butt plug boy. No. Which like, is what he looked like when he was drinking in Last Jedi, that green titty milk, you know, had that face. And, look, um, I, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all good for sucking on some titty. Yeah, me too. But, uh, it, it but, tits good. but not, not in that way. I agree. I agree. No, no, sir. No, sir. Well, I had a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'd like that one. Other other ones, um, Yodas. I want Yodas and Vaders and Obi Wan. May, maybe Vaders. Maybe uh, maybe uh, Vaders. Maybe not Obis. No, I would probably say Mace Windu's. The original Obi, not this Obi. I know, I know, but it it's all tainted meat now. I got you, Mace. Yeah, I'd like Maces. It's all tainted meat. Actually, one of my favorite you know, I, I, is uh, Kit. Um, is Kit the Michael Jedi? Knight. No, no, Kit. Um, Kit. Kit Fisto. I've. He's going to come out for pre-order soon for Hot Toys. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would. I used to want malls, but then I just I don't know. I had an opportunity once. Too big. <laughs> Dooku's Dooku's does look good, but it's a rabbit hole. I've seen. I know. Look, <laughs> I got. I got so many rabbit holes. I've got a Warren, you know. Um, but I just I, if I just have Luke's and that's it, I'll be happy with that because Luke's Luke's my boy. Luke's, yeah. That I, I uh, unfortunately my brain will <laughs> be like Luke's, and I have a couple. They're just not top quality, but I, I like them. Massive thank you, everyone who watched Hot Toys today. Uh, this will be going up, of course, on the Hot Toys uh, channel presently. Sorry, taking a couple of weeks for me to get sorted with the other ones. Uh, all the other ones, back issues are now up on the Hot Toys channel. Uh, massive thank you to my moderators, as always, and welcome, Martino Simone. That was just a little thank you, uh, moderation. You don't have to do any, just a little thank you. Uh, massive thank you to everyone who hit the Super Chat button, membership button gifted, remembered. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Fingers crossed that the Hot Toys channel gets a thumbs up, uh, and then we can do some really fun stuff on there. Yeah, we can uh, watch ads jump into more holes. I'm helping you. That's love. What's love got to do with it, George? What's love got to do with it? Just a secondhand emotion. <laughs> and you're on F and T tomorrow. Who y'all having on? Uh, I think it's drunk three PO for some bizarre reason, and uh, Drew Hernandez as well. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Mm. And if Gary thinks I'm watching The Mandalorian, <laughs> silly man. You've already seen She-Hulk, right? When you were. Because you talked about it once. You saw She-Hulk, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, think of the episode where the other rapper was in that she twerked. Just uh, remove the twerk. uh, Thirsty Stallion. Just remove the twerking mm. and add some Star Wars kind of language. 
Oh, I've already seen the acting from Lizzo. Okay. Some some top grade, first grade, uh, school production acting. I would think it's we should all just get along. <laughs> you know what? I will. I'll end this with this. It was a shame that they had Doc Brown in there because he's brilliant. He actually has done a lot of sci-fi in his life, so he deserved to be there. But. They made the entire show shit and then dropped in Jack Black like a deuce along with Lizzo. So they, Jack, they ruined Jack Black is a, is a deuce. That's why I said they, they ruined his moment. They well, ruined Christopher Lloyd's moment. I think Jack Black ruins his moment every time he opens his moment. I agree. I never agree. got that guy. I never got that guy. I, never I, got I that only guy. liked one movie he ever did. He played some wrestler. That was the only one. Oh, uh, Natural Libre. Yeah, mm. I, I kind of liked it. Not great, but alright. I'm going to be playing some Resident Evil 4 Remake very soon. Okay. You're going to go have coffee first. But I'm going to make myself a nice cup of coffee. Alright. Well, I'll see you I'll next see week. You. So will George, if he hasn't accidentally cut his head off while shaving. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye.